Welcome to the stream everyone! We are back with some judgement! It's been such a long time since I have played this one and I'm really excited because I have really missed this game. I love detective games and yeah I think this is gonna be a really awesome let's play. I'm just changing my thumbnail. I don't know why my thumbnail doesn't update by itself so that's super annoying. I have to like change it every single time and I don't know how to fix that so whatever <laughs> stupid thing. <laughs> I'll figure it out one of these days. <laughs> so um, we obviously haven't played this in a while so we are, well I think we actually did the first chapter of this game so far. So basically there are some murders taking place. There's been a murder. <laughs> And we have to work out who is um, obviously killing all these people. Um, it's suspected that the Yakuza are the ones killing all these people, but I guess we'll find out. There, um, we have named the killer the Mole, apparently. Um, that's what Yagami has seen fit to call the killer in question. We just... Um, basically proved Hamura's innocence so I'm really not very far into this game there's loads of like friend things on the map so I want to do these like I want to go see what these are because I have actually never done any of these before I don't think I think I've done one side quest and it was to find a cat and that's about it <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Keyboy, Luna and Marina. How are you all doing tonight? What is the point of the game? The point of the game is to find um, a murderer. There's a murderer. He's going around killing everyone and we have to find out who it is. We have no idea who it is, so it's all a mystery. It's a big, like, detective mystery game. It's a spin-off from the Yakuza series. I absolutely loved Yakuza 0. Such an amazing game. Only thing I don't like about... Oh, have I quite... I thought I crashed for a second. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is that we have no sound options, like, at all in this game. And I think that really sucks, mostly just for streamers and content creators. So when we get to the cutscenes and stuff, I'm going to have to like turn the volume up and then when we come out of it, I'm going to turn it down again and it's going to be a pain in the butt <laughs> because there's like, there's only, there's only like a master volume. So the combat will be like super loud and oh, so annoying. Um, so <laughs> he's called Fancy Pants. Oh, this place was whatever. The food wasn't bad, but the presentation lame. Or oh, is it really that bad? Yeah, it's like they tried to make it look boring. Totally not chatter worthy at all. Wouldn't even make a decent meme. Is it really that bad? He's a self-professed foodie. <laughs> okay, maybe our mission is to revitalize this restaurant or something. Why don't we get out of here and grab some dessert? Oh, I'd like some dessert. What are you gonna have? For sure. Let's go hit up Mijore. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I have no idea, but they're just gonna go and have a nice snack. What was that all about? I always try to feed Yagami in this game, but it doesn't let me. <laughs> There's only so much you can feed the main character, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm Yagami's feeder. <laughs> Every time I play, I always want to just like make him eat all the food. But um, in this game, you can only eat food if you've been damaged. So I have to get into a fight so I can eat. <laughs> I love doing that. Hello, Yagami-san, come on in. Hello, mm -hmm. everything okay? You don't seem like your usual self, huh? Oh, it's nothing really. You sure about that? Well, in all honest honesty, I realize our ramen hasn't caught on with the younger crowd and I can't put my finger on why. What? Who doesn't like ramen? Ramen is the best. <laughs> Uh, I see, I thought you did more than chapter one. I can't wait to, until you get further some really good cliffhangers. Oh, I like a good cliffhanger. Although they can be really frustrating sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I really didn't do a whole lot on this game. I have like eight hours play time on it. Um, I probably messed around a lot. I did a few mini games as well. I played that Puyu 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 thing, whatever that thing is, that Tetris thing. I played um, Camaro of the Dead and I also played some like Street Fighter kind of mini games in this game and that's about it so far really. <laughs> So, so worth doing the friend stuff. It is. That is good. Hello, Drake. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Eric. Hello, she. 
And everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely night tonight. Do you have to pay for it? Do you have to pay for what? The game? Of course. <laughs> um, it came out a year ago, so I, the price has probably dropped by now. Um, I brought it full price when I got it, actually. <laughs> but stuff happened and I stopped streaming. Um, but you could probably get it for like £20 now. Um, I think, it, you know, it's, the price has dropped quite a lot. Isn't Yagami the name of the definite main character? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> It's not the same dude, as you can tell, but he is a detective. <laughs> it's dope. This is a fantastic story. Honestly, one of the best I've ever played. Oh my God, you're getting me excited. My girlfriend watched me play it all of the time and every time I said, okay, let's leave it there. And every time she was like, no, it was that good. <laughs> I love detective games. So I'm honestly really excited. Do I like Minecraft? Um, unsure. Like, uh, I find it really hard to get into. Like, I don't, like, I, sh I don't know. I can't, I can't ever find the tutorial on it. <laughs> I get really confused how you craft stuff and how you do stuff in that game. So, um, yeah, I haven't really played very much of it, honestly. Right, so let's, um, figure out how to make this amazing, this ramen shop amazing again. That is a head scratcher for sure. Personally, I think your ramen tastes amazing. You're too kind. I wish it were as simple as taste, but that's not all young people are after these days. What do you mean? It's this whole social media thing. Oh, okay. So let me just, I'm just checking something really quick. Um, Cause my thumbnail didn't update and I'm just checking it, it updated properly. Yeah, it did. Awesome, stupid thing. I'm gonna have to try and figure that out silly thing all right kids nowadays are hooked on it yep that's very true i don't really use a lot of social media i only use twitter and that's it <laughs> sounds about right yeah. unfortunately our ramen isn't suited for this online environment because we make it simple and traditional they're very old school all right sign of the times and it kills me when customers crowd around a spot just because they make a smiley face out of fish eggs <laughs> Okay, all right, so taste always wins or make a fancy ramen. I think taste always wins, yeah, but I guess the presentation does um does come into it a little bit, I suppose. You're not going to want to eat something that just looks like a pile of dog food, after all. <laughs> taste always win, all right, I know that, but it's just, then why don't you try concocting something fancy? Oh, I guess I chose the wrong option. <laughs> Why didn't you cook up a hot new ramen designed to catch people's attention? All oh, right. If I feel it's almost a sin to attract customers based on visual appeal alone. So why not create a ramen that looks that both looks and tastes appealing? For example, how about a ramen topped with honey marinated cashew cat? I don't know. You, I don't know. But that sounds really nice. That way, you'll be using your tried and true ingredients in a more innovative way. All right, we got some ramen lessons here. <laughs> Seems Yagami's an expert on ramen. Apparently, you know what? I can do that. Um, okay, I don't know what we're actually going to be doing. Is this an actual quest, or I don't know? I know you've got what it takes to make the trendiest ramen in town. All right, I'll get right to work. Can't wait. Do I have to wait now for him to make this amazing ramen? Hey, dude, have you made it already? I want to try it. <laughs> Probably hasn't made it that quickly. Can I take your order? All right, what do you have? He has um, lots and lots of ramen. He has gyoza. I've tried gyoza. I really like it. I think that's the only meal I've actually eaten from this ramen shop, actually. Should I buy some? Ah, uh, see, it doesn't let me because my health is full. I hate that. <laughs> I want to eat all the things, but it doesn't let me. <laughs> it's mean. It's stingy. I got all the money as well, but no, he says no. Wait, there's another thing here. Can I talk to him again? What is this? There's another, there's like another little symbol. I don't really know. I can't go back there apparently. Um, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, apparently maybe I just like come back another time or something. I have no idea. There's absolutely tons of those on my map though. I've got an, I've got an absolute ton. There's one down there as well. Maybe I should just like go and greet all the peoples. What's this? This is a different area. This is a host hangout. I wanna do that one up there, cause why not? Let's go and see what's going on. 
<laughs> one of my supervisors loves spinach that guy just said <laughs> he's like but why <laughs> why would you like spinach <laughs> i actually don't really like spinach either but yeah <laughs> that was a bit random i am having a great day thank you for asking do you watch anime? I do. I haven't actually watched anime in quite some time, but I do really love anime. Just search Hermitcraft. I uh, is that um a Minecraft thing? There's a tutorial for Minecraft. I have heard there is, but it's very elusive. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, and I regret it. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Redstone tutorials is what I usually need. And you can do like crazy contraptions on Minecraft with all those like um like switches and you can make like stuff that just like d automates, like automated stuff. It's crazy. Um hello. Why have you got an icon above your head? I I have no idea. Can I talk to you? No? Does anyone know what this is? Hey Keyboy, do you know what this is? You've played this game. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> is he my friend? Is he my follower? I've got a fan in the game. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm really lost. <laughs> I'm really sorry for leaving you. That's okay. I'm sure you've got lots of things to do. I finished a Dragon Quest Builders game and I'm not into it anymore and I kind of forgot this about this channel. That's okay. I mean, there are so many channels on YouTube as well. So, you know, <laughs> it happens. Certain questions with the friend events can be confusing, mostly because it's food related. Yeah, I think I chose the wrong option. Oops. But it looks like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have very many consequences, so um, it doesn't seem to affect much. Bro, just let me eat the goddamn freaking Calby meat. I'll pay good money, see? I'm stacked and I got stacks. Why is this guy not letting him eat the Calby meat? Um, our legendary Calby only goes to the customers who successfully pass our quiz. What? What kind? What kind of establishment is this? Can I take the quiz? Are you shitting me? I can't believe it. <laughs> That is so random. Such language. I know, right? Would you s please stop making a scene? Mm. That meathead sure looks heated. All right, it's time to squash the beef. Am I going to fight him? All right, I haven't done some combat on this in such a long time. Me. Hey, is everything all right? Oh, aren't you the customer from before? Huh, who's this lean meat looking mofo? <laughs> My God, that guy's a true gangster i'm having trouble with a guest he's demanding to eat our special kelby hey. well you get all the questions right bro who even cares all i know is that i'm starving to death over here i mean do you know how many restaurants and like places that are to eat in camarucho there are so many why do you have to have this one <laughs> <laughs> rules are rules, bro. If you want the Calby that bad, then why don't you beef up your knowledge? Yeah, you tell him. He's right. After all, this gentleman passed the quiz just fine. Actually, I think I already did the quiz. Yes, I do remember, actually. I did do a quiz here before. I thought I could do another one. <laughs> I like the quizzes. You ate the special Calby? Well, yeah. Unbelievable! <laughs> I need that protein for my workout gains. <laughs> he absolutely has to have that exact meat. Um, completely wasted on a sausage stick like you. Oh, wow. Insults. The insults, though. You know what? You spit that meat out of your mouth right now. Um, I think he kind of ate it and probably already pooped it out, you know? <laughs> I don't think it's coming back. <laughs> It was probably ages ago as well, you know. I haven't played this in a year, so, you know, I don't think you're getting that back, dude. <laughs> Hello, David. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? He will help you in fights. Oh, so he's just like a follower kind of dude. Okay, I thought it might be something like that, but um, I don't know. Some of you just go to like this guy and they automatically trigger the events as well as just eating everything on the menu. Oh, okay, so we're just gonna like... um be friends with them that's cool befriend all the shopkeepers kind of like how you can do in yakuza zero the orange jacket guy is your friend oh yeah that's awesome so many bad words not in front of the children <laughs> cover your eyes kids <laughs> you said stream dragon quest builders too um, maybe 
could be an idea. There's a certain cat quest where you find cats. I have done one. I think you did it maybe because I think that's the NPC that asks you. Yeah, I did do a quest where I had to find a cat and I got like really lost. <laughs> um, it's an M-rated game. Yes, very true. Is this a good related game? It's uh, I think it's a really awesome game. Yeah, of what from what I've played or of it, it's already digested. Yes, I think so. <laughs> a long time ago <laughs> then i'll make you throw it up the hard way well you can try dude but um let's do this all right it's been a long time i'm gonna be really rusty with it oh okay i just pulled him down the stairs <laughs> i didn't even know i was gonna do that but all right <laughs> there's also different styles of combat if i remember oh i got action yeah let's do an action oh my god the fighting is so cool in this game i always really liked the the fighting in yakuza i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get yakuza like a dragon as well um, I'm unsure about the combat in that game. Like, it's so different compared to other Yakuza games. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think I want to try it out. I think I want to give it a chance because I just, I'm really in like a Yakuza mood right now. I just want to play Yakuza things. <laughs> How do I change mode again? I've forgotten. Oh, that's my, my little things. All right, that's my like potions and stuff. I can't remember how you do it. <laughs> I can't remember the button. No. Oh, I'll work it out eventually. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the triggers. No. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just button mash and uh, hope I win. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some like things. Let's grab this bike. Oi, you. I wanted to grab that. He broke it. <laughs> Dude, that's not cool. I was gonna hit you with that. All right, let me, let me grab this. Stop it. <laughs> it doesn't let me breathe. Oh my God, I'm gonna die in a sec. All right, what's that? Do I, was that my health? I can't remember even how to play. I know I had some, this is my health. Yes, we should use that before I die. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm epic failing right now. It's okay. Oh, I can't even remember what the block was. Oh, there we go. I think that was how you change stance. I think I've literally forgotten all the buttons. <laughs> I maybe should have practiced the combat before I went back into this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I just hope I don't die. This guy's strong. Dude, what's your problem? <laughs> he must have really wanted that beef. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, I got a cone. Oh, wait, I threw it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That was awesome. I, I, I did that by accident. Oh, no. <gasps> he killed me. No. <laughs> My first fight and he killed me straight away. <laughs> Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> Try as you might, but I know karate. Um, I wish I did. <laughs> Blue AOE, red single target. Right, yeah, there's two different styles. I just forgot how to go into them. Down on the D-pad. Oh, I wish I, uh, I wish I saw that. <laughs> I was too busy trying to beat the guy up, so I didn't notice. But I'll try. I, I think I'm. I just needed a bit of practice. <laughs> That's all, I swear. Oh gosh, I just like flopped over. I like ragdolled, completely got ragdolled then. <laughs> I love the ragdoll physics in this game though. They're amazing. Stop it, you stupid dude. I wanna hit you with this. He's trying to block. He can't block this. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna do an EX action. Hopefully, I think I'm doing a bit better this time. <laughs> A little bit. I just... Is that the block? Okay, I think that's the block. I found the block button. Way! I think we can do this now. All right, dude. You're not getting your cowboy meat. I'm sorry. It is over for you. It is... You're never getting it. Hey, put me down. You horrid dudes. When you're on the floor, you can't, like, do anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. But there's no, like, button to, like, quickly get up or anything like that. So, uh, you kind of... I feel, like, so defenseless just chucks me so easy that looks so easy just makes me feel like like a little kid or something the way you just froze me i was blocking that wasn't fair he's cheating i swear i wonder if my items come back because i hit retry i don't know but we did it only just but hey i can go eat now <laughs> i can go eat some stuff Alrighty. now what are you gonna leave this poor shopkeeper alone are you satisfied yet dude I, I'm shook, bro. 
I did everything. I crushed weights every day and even went full keto too. Oh, you went on the keto diet? I heard that thing's nasty. Where did I go wrong? Training your body is fine, but next time try training your mind. Getting all spiritual like. <laughs> okay. All right, off he goes. Hang your head in shame, dude. Are you okay? Thanks to you, hardly yeah. a scratch. That's because Yagami is so OP. Thank heavens. May I ask your name? This is Yagami. Yagami, what you just did now was was nothing short of amazing. It's my way of saying thanks. You're welcome to order our superior single cut Kelby anytime you wish. Alrighty, we get the legendary Kelby meat. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Alright, and we got some friendship stuff with this dude. Awesome. It really does pay to lend a hand to people. Awesome stuff. So, should we go get some like right now? Let's go get some. I'm feeling a bit hungry after all that fighting, and we almost like nearly died. So, <laughs> maybe a good idea to pick some of that up I think it might be upstairs I think so let's go order some of this stuff it looks very professional in here if I do say so myself looks great <laughs> awesome where do I order um I don't know over this way oh over here I totally didn't spot you over in the corner there um can I take your order oh yes look at all this stuff it's got loads and loads of stuff got tripe barbecue it's got a single cut cowby so many so many different bits of meat and is it raw it doesn't even look cooked um do they eat this raw because that that is just nasty i don't know i'm gonna go for the spicy beef soup because i think that sounds nice um how do i do have i got enough money i do have enough money i've forgotten how you do this <laughs> Like that, and then purchase, I think. Yeah, all right, time for some spicy beef soup. I've just forgotten all the buttons for this. What games do you play in your free time without streaming? Today, I played Final Fantasy fourteen. I think that's all I played today, actually. I haven't really played that much outside of YouTube stuff, actually. I completed Atelia Lulia over the weekend, Back but that was for a Let's Play that's scheduled for like, I uh, like January next year. <laughs> because I have like seven months of uh, Let's Play videos recorded, so I'm like really, really far ahead right now. <laughs> So it's really weird. I'm like recording stuff and it's not going to go up for like seven months, which is a really weird thing to think. But yeah, <laughs> I started replaying Judgment last month. You did? That's a weird coincidence. The more food items you eat of the menu, the cheaper they get discounts. You will also get SP for every new dish you eat. That is awesome. Okay, I have to make sure I eat lots of food. But you know what? I love doing that in this game anyway. I don't know why. I just have this weird obsession with like eating all the food in this game. <laughs> I have no idea why. I just, um, I guess it's satisfying or something. So most of these are just the friendship things, I think. I think I'm going to do one more and then I will continue with the story a little bit. Let's go do this one since it's like the closest one to me. But I think they're all just kind of like general things. I don't think they're actual like proper side quests, which I'm a little disappointed at because I really want to do some like proper side stuff because the side stuff on Yakuza are just like so crazy, aren't they? They're just so, so crazy and silly and fun and I love that. But yeah, it's just like... Um, we'll just do these a little bit at a time, I think, because there's not much going on with these things. Want to learn more about our music fair? Sure. Um, is this where you get records from? Because I heard you can get records for your for your room, right? What's this all about? You spend 700 yen and you earned one point. Get 10 points and you earn a gift. Okay, what kind of gift? A limited edition record. Ah, okay. So every branch carries a different one. The point is to collect them all. We do have a record player back at the office. We do. I give it your best shot. So everything I buy counts towards a prize. All right, so this isn't even really a quest, so I guess I could do one more. <laughs> I wanted to do one proper one. What should we buy? So many things to buy. I'm just shopping. I just play this game to go shopping. <laughs> You grill them on the table. Oh, they have like the little grill. Oh, I like it when restaurants do that. Oh, I see. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> That's cool. That meat definitely looks scrumptious. It's awesome. Yes. 
What did that man do to Yagami? He's getting a beating. I know. I'm sorry, Yagami. <laughs> oh my god. Side cases will open up soon. Don't worry about that part. Okay. You should play Dauntless. I think you said that in the last stream, right? You must be really into that game. I don't know. I've never played it before, but it sounds like you're having a lot of fun with it. I want to buy this um, this bean paste bun because it looks amazing and I want to buy one. So that's what we're going to buy today. We've made... Um, with the purchase you've made today, your point totals up by zero. What? I didn't even get a point for that. Right now you have a zero point total. <laughs> Wow, that sucks. Once you get 10, we'll get a new record. I guess I should just like come back when I've got like loads and loads of money or something. I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't even I didn't even get one thing towards it. You must have to spend loads of money or something. I guess that that little bun thing wasn't enough, I guess. So that one's gone green, so I guess I can leave that one for a little while. I'm going to go down to this one, because I want to just do, like, one proper one, because that one didn't count, because nothing happened. I need to buy, like, loads of stuff, and I don't want to waste my money on that just yet. Oh, we got loads of dudes. All oh, right, let's do some fighting. That guy's cheating. He's got a weapon. <laughs> Although I know I can get weapons, too. Oh, God, I suck at this. I need some practice with this, for sure. <laughs> I've literally forgotten how to play it, but I'll get there. I just need some practice. What did he drop? He, dro he dropped a silver plate. He's just carrying around silver plates with him, as you do. Oh, ow, ouch. He's got a baseball bat. That's not good. All right. Awesome. We did it, and we got some SP. Awesome. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Changing styles. Uh, okay. I don't know why that disappeared. Whoa. Hello. What? He got, like, really defensive. I guess because I was, like, running, like, full on at him. <laughs> he got freaked out. <laughs> I freaked him out by accident. I didn't mean to, I swear. <laughs> All right, let's go and get some munchies in here. Whoa, that ramen practically melted in my mouth. So this one's a good ramen shop. I don't know what they put in there, but it totally blew my mind. I know, right? Better post this up before someone beats me to it. That pig's gonna blow up for sure. Are those the kids from before? They just made a complete 180. They certainly did. And by the way, it's honey that chef put in there. Oh, so the dish worked. But judging from their reaction, that means... So did it work? Is it good? That's awesome. Is this the same shop I went to earlier? Oh, okay. It's the same one. I didn't even realize. Yes, All right. So it looks like he has improved his recipe. It looks like he has got some people now. So I see you've added something to the menu. Can I try it? Um, the crushing chashu challenge. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's a supersized ramen with no leftovers allowed. Oh, it's one of these big, massive, like, challenge things. I can never do those. We have a lot of youngsters stopping by. Though they do keep taking photos instead of eating right away. Hey, yeah, that's good. That's really good to hear. And I owe it all to you, Yagami. I barely did anything. I literally just stood here and just gave suggestions. <laughs> Don't forget your ramen has always tasted great. You should be getting a lot of customers. You always seem to have something positive to say. Hopefully my ramen will have you singing its praises as well. All oh, right, time to find out. I'm glad he's back to his old self. Now, now I can't wait to try it myself. But I don't think it's going to let me, though, because, like, um, my health's full. Raising your friendships with the locals will allow you to perform EX bonds with some of them. Oh, my God. So you're, like, mid-combat, and then, like, some shopkeeper just throws you some hot sauce. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> it's just how weird this, this game is just so weird. <laughs> Side quests open up soon in chapter two. Oh, I have to keep playing the story. <laughs> and after in judgment and um, you get more with higher amount of friends. How many friends can you actually have? Because it sounds like there's a lot. There's a JRP seri JRPG series I think you may like. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Actually, my friend's been playing that game and they said that it's really good. So I should check that out. There's so many games. <laughs> Throwing a fit in front of the meat restaurant. Yep, that guy was absolutely crazy. 
um, but they can only be triggered at a specific location your alley is. So that means I have to be near the restaurants to make it happen, I think. I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm assuming. But let's do some actual story. Let's do um, some story content. I have to go all the way over here. I think my quest right now is to investigate some like dead bodies. So if you're squeamish, <laughs> look away. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I think because we already worked out that Hamara was innocent of the other, the first like murdered person. So we're gonna see if we can get some more clues because I don't think we have any lead on like who the actual killer is right now. So that's what we're gonna try and work out, I guess. I have to work out who the mole is. There's so many guys. It's just like every street I go down. <laughs> There's some guys waiting to murder me like every time. But why? What did I ever do to you? Just walking down the street. Am I hated or something? I don't know. <laughs> There's so many horrible Yakuza dudes, it seems. But it's okay. Yagami is OP. He has had lots and lots of training, so that is awesome. Hey, look. He's wearing a mask. He is all ready for Corona. It's weird because, like, that's like a fashion accessory in Japan, right? So I don't actually think that's, like, anything to do with Corona. I don't even think Corona was around when this game was created, actually. <laughs> so that's pretty pretty funny. It's funny how the guys, they, like, get, like, go, like really freaked out if you, like, walk, walk too close to them. Oh, he's okay now. He was, like, really freaked out a second ago. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go and check out this crime scene over here. Tenkachi Ally. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump. So, around here. Alright, let's, let's investigate. See what we can find. Alright, down here maybe? What the? <laughs> suspicious i like it when he does that i don't know why that alleyway is pretty narrow no chance a car could fit fit through all right cool so at least the body wasn't like you know can't have come here from a car or anything i think i can hear a cat i should totally um go check that out i gotta find all the cats this game is ridiculous but i love it i know right um that started in kiwami 2 what started in Kiwami 2? I think I missed some some bits and pieces. I haven't played Kiwami 2. I haven't played any of the Kiwami. The only Yakuza game I've played is Zero, so I don't know. Hello, Matthias Rain. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm doing well, thank you, and I did have a great weekend. I hope you did too. Japan actually has a mask culture due to protecting themselves from getting sick. Oh, I thought they just did it because they just liked wearing them or something. I don't know. I thought they did it like, because they have like fashionable ones. So I thought they had it for like fashion accessory or something. But yeah, it's cool. I don't, um... Uh, I need some advice. I don't know if this is the place. When I was nine, I was walking home from sport and some random guy started talking to me he asked for my age and my name um maybe you should avoid people like that just in case stranger danger and all that stuff you never know you never know with people in this time <laughs> not everybody's like that but just to be on the safe side hello smithereens welcome to the stream oh did you have a great stream that is awesome did you get far in ghost of tsushima you fight behemoths um that is one of my complaints but the reason sega didn't is because the japanese voice for yagami is also a singer and they didn't want to pay any money for him to sing oh they should have totally put in the karaoke thing that would have been so cool yagami's office and genda's office are where you'll find them just they just appear on the map as a blue file icon ah okay have to check that out we've been doing all the side cases they are all pretty good i really want to yes because the side quests in judgment are amazing all right so yeah there's nothing going on down there anyway let's see what we have here we have some kind of oh that's the dumpster i'd think that if the body had been found in here i would have heard about it by now okay probably safe to say it wasn't in the trash all right that's good like you don't want bodies thrown in there anyway like that would be really disrespectful but i don't know i don't think yakuza really care 
<laughs> that alleyway is pretty narrow, no chance a car could fit through. The victim must have walked here on his own, or did the mole bring him here after killing him? Who knows? There isn't enough evidence here to say either way. We need many, many more clues for sure. I can- <gasps> is that the cat? I found the cat, guys! Yeah, we gotta find all the cats. Oh look, a cat. It's a cute little kitty cat. You get little SP points for finding the cats and um, I think there's like a little collectible thing. I don't know, it's just a little thing I like to do. <laughs> I like it's collecting suspicious. them. Alright, what's down here? I think this goes out to Taihei Boulevard. If they know their way through all these back alley alleys, the mole must be pretty familiar with Camarucho. Ah, okay, okay, that's that makes sense. All right, so we got some more some more um rubbish here. This is where they take out the garbage, right? The corpse must have been lying around here. This case happened months ago, though. Don't suppose there are any traces of the body left. Yeah, the police probably combed this over really well, I'm assuming. I should take a little closer look. All right, closer look where? It's like, oh, I see something shiny. There's something shiny just there. What is that? I have no idea. Hmm? Whoa, this is an exquisite screw this is not just any screw it's an exquisite one <laughs> do i hear a cow meow a, a cat me a cow <laughs> a cat meowing yes you do <laughs> you can find lots of cats in this game those drove me insane finding all these cats i know right i want to find them all <laughs> i like that every single person when you're in a fight freak out and run away for no reason then there's some who watch and cheer <laughs> It's pretty random. Kiwami and Kiwami 2 are remakes of Yakuza 1 and 2. Yeah, I have Kiwami 1, but I haven't played it yet, so I really want to play that as well. Um, I thought he was being nice, but it was uncomfortable. Was he being nice or was he being creepy? I have no idea. I cannot tell you, I'm afraid. I wish I knew, but you know, um, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, I have one more quest to do and then I finished Act 2. Awesome! I bet you're excited to move on. Isn't Act 3 the last um, act in the game? I think it is. But next episode will be side quests. Nice! Side quests are fun too. This is a totally unrelated... Oh, this is totally unrelated to the case. I guess there are no more signs of the murder. Doesn't seem like there's anything left to find. Okay. So that's good. We've done. We've we've um, investigated everything here. So let's move on. Let's see what we're going to do now. It like takes ages to transition between scenes sometimes. Well, not ages, but I keep thinking it's like going to crash or something. <laughs> but it's okay. This is like Batman Arkham Detective mode. A little bit, I suppose. I know that more volume is really low for the cutscenes. But um, I'll turn it up in a sec but you know that's just the the thing with this game there's no like volume control so it's really really annoying finding all the cats gets you a trophy awesome totally worth it <laughs> this part is funny it is <laughs> okay <laughs> i have no idea what's happening right now who is that masked guy anyway i have no idea all right so he's obviously done something bad because the police are after him oh Phone call. What's happening? Hey, what's Yo! <laughs> what? He just stole our phone. <laughs> that was totally uncalled for. Wait, what? Why did I get mixed up in this? Ah, oh, so now I have to chase this guy because he stole my phone. Wow, what nerve. What, what nerve? Why would you do that? <laughs> Just randomly steal people's phone. I was even using it as well. <laughs> like what was up with that? Oh, I think I messed up that a little tiny bit. But okay. Alright, let's um let's get this guy. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna get you, dude. How dare you steal my phone? I have to oh these are really quick um action time events. But oh no, I just fell over a cone. That sucks. Oh gosh, okay, I got this. We got this Yagami. He's so acrobatic. Like, I am so jealous. He just, like, does roly polies and everything. He's amazing. All right, let's do this. Going all over the place. Oh, no, there's a stupid cone in the way. Oh, oh, I oh, know, press the wrong button. Oh, damn. I <laughs> just bumped into the car. <laughs> Where are you going, Yagami? I don't know. <laughs> it's going everywhere. All right, 
Let's um, see if we can catch up with this guy. I feel like he's going to get away now because I messed up on that car. Hopefully it's a little bit lenient with the, the button presses here. Oh, he went into a pole. I did the right button and he went into a pole. What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> what are you even dodging? There's nothing there to dodge. <laughs> What's your problem? I have no idea. Oh, dude, this is going to take you forever. Look, he's already getting away. <laughs> Just hurry, hurry up, man. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this guy. He's not getting away with my phone. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, face plan, face plan. Why are we, why am, why? Oh, okay. I was like, why am I in the park? I didn't see where he went, so I was confused. <laughs> okay, that was so random. Did I fail? I failed. Oh, I messed up too much. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Act three is the last one in the game. Ah, oh, awesome. There's also the Yakuza collection. They have a collection. I didn't know they had one of those. Hello, Joshua. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? It's 22.56 for me right now. You are an hour ahead of me. And I have school tomorrow at 7, but who needs sleep? Oh, God, you, you should really make sure you get enough sleep. I wouldn't want you to be tired. That would really suck. I hate being tired. But, you know, um, up to you what you want to do, of course. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this guy this time. I'm going to try to concentrate. This guy is not getting away from me again. <laughs> get back here with my phone. How dare you steal my phone? All right, here we go. All right, we can do this, Yagami. Can't let him get away. Let's catch up with him and make him pay for what he did. I was busy texting Kaito. How could you? I was texting, I was texting my husband. <laughs> I love Kaito, he's amazing. He's such a cool character. He's such a bro character, and I just really like him. See, look, I'm really close now. I'm getting close. I'm gaining on him. I've had some practice, you know, so I'm going to do it this time. All right, here we go. I don't know why he, like, dodges, like, so dramatically. Like, you don't need to dodge, like, that dramatic, but okay. I mean, it's Yakuza, and um, Yakuza's a bit dramatic anyway. Look, I can practically grab him from right here. But just put your arm out and grab him. <laughs> it's fine. You would literally just be able to reach him there. All right, he's going into the park. All right, here we go. At least I know where he's actually gone this time. All right, here we go. Um, So I didn't get past this part last time. Where's he gone? Oh my God, how far are they going to chase each other for? <laughs> just chasing each other for all, uh, all eternity. All right, we did it. Awesome. Now let's see what happens. Explain yourself, dude. How could you catch my, take my phone like that? Blasphemy. Are we still chasing him? Still chasing him, my god. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. He is so nimble. Wow. Oh my god, police parkour at its finest. I know, right? <laughs> Go! Well, it's just stopping in, Malty. Have a great stream. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a lovely day, Matthias. All right, are you going to give up my phone now, dude? You're not getting any thanks for that. Here. Oh, oh thank you. You're so generous. <laughs> I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? That was your plan? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. Uh, okay. That was really <sighs> random. Go to sleep, Malty. Never! <laughs> the night is still young. <laughs> I should probably go sleep, but I'm not really tired. Yesterday I fell asleep at 12 because I couldn't fall asleep. That's oh. The Rocho. Burglary ring. No wonder the cops can't catch him. Well, we caught him, so that that's a win. <laughs> You'll see this character quite a few times during this game. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Kaito. We got cut off, but you all good? Let's see. Um... I go in touch with Ayabi. 
Okay, I have no idea. Oh wait, is that that technical guy? He's scraping up what he can on the mole thing. Ah, okay, awesome. Let's see if we can dig any info. Just sit tight till we hear back. Cool, yeah, awesome. Alrighty, well, that was really random. I'm exhausted, yeah, after that I would be too. Maybe I should go check in on Genda Sensei. Speak with Genda, I can't even remember who that was to be honest with you. <laughs> It's been such a long time. All right, let's check the map. Oh, no. Okay, we can't do anything here. I need to leave this little area first, I think. Let's see what I can do here. Hmm, I don't even know how you e exit, actually. Oh, there's stairs. There's stairs down here. <laughs> Derp, I didn't see those. <laughs> how the heck do you have enough energy? I get 10 hours of sleep in the re weekend and I'm still tired. Whoa, 10 hours is that's a lot as well, you know? I don't even think I get that much. <laughs> I get like seven or eight, I think. Which, um, I mean, for some people, that's quite a lot, but um, that's as much as I need. <laughs> I'm a night owl. I can stay up till three or four if I don't have work tomorrow. I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm watching the Maid in Abyss movie tonight. I'm really excited. I hope that is good. I hope that you enjoy it. I have no idea... I don't really get tired. Really? Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, Marina, thank you for stopping by. Excuse me, I don't mean to scare you, but I need help bad. Oh, okay, um, I'll help you, dude. He's a homeless guy, all right? But that's okay. What's the matter? Are you hurt? What happened to you? My stomach, it's killing me all of a sudden. Are you hungry? Should I call an ambulance? No. Don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Wait, you have to pay for the ambulance? Say what? I thought it was free. Please, just go get more Boshi Sensei. Maybe it just like costs money in Japan. I really don't know, but as far as I'm aware, it's free here. <laughs> Is he some kind of doctor? Yeah, yeah. He should be underground in the sewers. Oh, okay. It's one of those shady doctors, like black market, like like doctor like um some like almost like the doctors that are like selling organs and like parts and it's going to be one of those kind of doctors i bet you can get there through a manhole in the children's park okay that's not shady at all sure all right stay put for a minute he'll understand if you tell him kondo is asking for him please hurry okay why would a doctor be hanging around in the sewers <laughs> don't know guess that's not what really matters here you should really be worried about that dude like that's a little bit shady if you ask me um he said a park right some kind of park oh up there it's already marked on my map so that's awesome i'll just put a little marker on it as well just to help me to find where to go there's some people here hello how are you doing these just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one got hurt. Um, was that me? That might have been me. I'm a bit, like, boisterous, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was, like, me in the chase scene or what. I have no idea. Hey, look, they have a giant pizza. Is that a pizza? It looks like a giant pizza. I love how in Japan they just have, like, TVs on the wall and just, like, stuff like that. I don't know why. <laughs> I just think that's so cool. We don't have stuff like that. There's just like giant TVs like out on the street. <laughs> I know it's mostly for advertisement and stuff, but I don't know. I just really, really like it for some reason. Uh oh, I'm being chased. I'm being chased by some dudes. Look at them all chasing me. No. Imagine if I got sandwiched, like some like ch start chasing me at, at the front. <laughs> that would suck. All right, I've made it. I've made it. Quick, talk to him before these guys get me. Quick. <laughs> You want something? Oh, no, nothing in particular. Then leave me the hell alone. Oh, wow, I was hoping to go to the sewers. <laughs> Did you hear about Yakuza 7? What are you what are your thoughts on the changes they made? Um, yes, I want to get it cuz I think it looks really fun. I love how the main character is like a total nerd. He's like a Dragon Quest fan. And he's like, you know, JRPG fan, and I just think that he'd be a really fun character to play. But um yeah, I know that the combat is really hated for that game, but I think it could be quite interesting. I think it would be quite fun. 
I think it's talking about healthcare, not the ambulance. Oh, okay. Sounds kind of sketchy to me. Yes, I think it's going to be. Guess that attitude is how he ended up here. That was a bit judgmental, but okay. I mean, it could be anything. Like, there's loads of reasons why some, you know, people get made homeless. Tons and tons of reasons. So, who knows? Who knows? All right, I think, I think this is the sewers here. Let's go down, I guess, and find this weird doctor guy. I'm a bit scared for Yagami's life right now. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to find down here. It's going to be rats down here. I don't really like rats too much, but even worse than rats is spiders. <laughs> don't show me any spiders. I hate them so much. All right, and they're always in video games, unfortunately. Um, Hello, dude. Nice hat you got going there. Excuse me. Are you Moroboshi Sensei? I am. And who might you be? This is Yagami. Yagami. Doesn't ring a bell, so what do you want? What was mm. I supposed supposed to tell this guy again? <laughs> what? The condor has left the the nest. Your home voice calling for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kondo is calling for you. Moroboshi is calling for I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? I can't remember. <laughs> Um, all right, Morsi, I'm going to go. You go to sleep. That might be relaxing for you. I'm not going to sleep just yet, but um, if you are, then I hope you sleep well. The Noodle Place friend event is so worth doing. I will do the friend events. I just don't want to do them all at once. I want to like mix it up a little bit, you know? Um, the left one, Kondo. Oh, was, oh, was I on the right one? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm a longtime fan of the Yakuza series and I welcome the new fighting system in 7. It looks interesting. I think it looks interesting too, but you know, I've always been into turn based like RPG games, so it speaks to me, but it it doesn't seem to um, attract much love um, with most people. I've seen a lot of hate for it, unfortunately. They're just trying to do something different and interesting, and um, I hope it works. I really do. All right, Kondo is calling for you. There's this homeless guy. He was asking for your help. Kondo San was, yeah, his stomach hurts. Where is he? Public park. All right, off he goes. And was that it? Hey, come back here, you little crazy doctor <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay so mission accomplished that's not as shady as i thought it would be but i know they've had like stuff like that i'm sure they had like um some underground place in yakuza zero Whew, i made it thanks a million doc you too my guy did you eat something strange again oh what did he eat uh let me think well i did some dumpster dives diving at pink street yesterday i knew i tasted something fishy so what was it for crying out loud well maybe he was desperate looks like kondo san's done it again okay yeah yagami san yes sorry for your trouble this guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach this is a common occurrence damn maybe we should find a fix Excuse for him me. no worries but i've got to ask ask are you actually a doctor yeah or at least i was but that's all in the past i love the hat dude it totally doesn't match the outfit though <laughs> moroboshi sensei used to be a doctor at this huge medical university what happened but he's been down in the dumps since he lost his chance to become a professor so he started helping us out instead you talk too much oopsie as for you here's something for your trouble i know it isn't much i got a medical kit that could help actually you can now get treated by moriboshi and buy medical kits for him from him as well nice okay i appreciate it either way well then i'll be off now all right adios dude see you later toodaloo <laughs> cool if I were homeless, I wouldn't live in the sewers. I don't think I would either. But, you know, I guess it's shelter, I suppose. Like, at least you won't get, like, too wet. And, you know, you won't have people staring at you when you're, like, on the streets. Because that must be so embarrassing, you know? So I can kind of see why. I can kind of see why they would choose to do that. But it's, like, really smelly and dark. And you don't know what's down there. And, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a nice place, does it? Hello, dude. I would like to order some some food, as always. 
I'm back again. I'm back buying food again. <laughs> I can't help myself. I forgot you stream on YouTube as well. Yes, I um I do both at the same time because Restreamio is awesome <laughs> and it lets you do both, which is really cool. I'll share your stream to my Twitter. Thank you. That would be awesome. Hello, leader boss. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We are going to buy some... Hmm. I'm going to buy some cold slot. No, I, I can't buy anything. <laughs> I keep doing this. I just... I love buying food in this game. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what we can do next. Let's see what's on the map here could do the main story i guess i'll leave the friend stuff until i actually like have some until i've lost some health i just don't see the point in um doing it until i've lost a bit of health because i can't buy anything anyway so it would make sense to just go in there when i actually can buy food that would make a lot more sense all right and i think i've tried most of the mini games i've tried like the claw grab thing and i tried most of the the mini games that you can play i think so i don't think there's much to do there either oh um i think the the main story is around the other side and we're gonna go and speak to genda in a second so that's gonna be awesome i can't even remember who genda is to be honest with you but that's okay hello master link welcome to the stream how are you doing today all right let's go and see genda he is up the elevator come on dude stop it <laughs> It's like bumping into the elevator. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, it's the, um, is, is it our boss? Is it this guy over here? I remember this guy. Well, look what the cat Hello, tried. boss. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. I bet he does. Um, Yagami-san. Oh, it's the shy girl. Actually, I do have You some do? Ideas. That's awesome. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. I'll turn the volume up a little bit for the cutscenes. Because I know it's super quiet, but then the combat's super loud, so I'm trying not to, like, trying to get, like, it's annoying. The sound's just, like, really annoying for this game. <laughs> okay, so we have a case list here. Beef bowls. I know, right? It's nice. So we have, my name is Noriko. Oh, so this is our, like, um, she had like a case for us. My husband has started going out frequently recently and I want to know where he's going. Oh, um, so she thinks that he's cheating on him. Okay. On, on her, I mean, but could you investigate? Thank you. So we get like these random cases sometimes. All right. I'll accept this one. Okay. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari san. Let's do it. We have a brand new case to undertake, and um, I'm curious to see how this is going to go for sure. Are you streaming tomorrow? I might, probably. I think so. I'm not going to say 100% yes, but most likely. I would rather be in the sewers than in the cold. That's also very true. So let's see if we can... Oh, oh wait, was that a different quest? Oh, that was for something else. So was that a side quest? Maybe that was a side quest. I have no idea. Okay, we'll talk to Genda now. You're still sniffing around that Yes, we case. are. We gotta find out who this mole is, for sure. I never told Genda Sensei I'm still looking for the mole. Right. Yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hamura's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? 
Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about What's this that place. reporter guy? Right, Yagami-san? Yagami doesn't like him. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori, two of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> he doesn't like either. Sound is good. Side quest time. Yay. Side quest now. Moti is happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> Just wait until we get into like the funny ones. I guess the sewers do help with that if you can handle how dank it is. Yeah, true. This game reminds me of Sleeping Dogs. It is a little bit. Yeah. I really loved Sleeping Dogs as well. That game is a fantastic game. Just pretend Yagami isn't here. Oh, rude. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani Sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani Sensei. Say cheese. <laughs> He's really not interested. Tea, sir. What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki Sensei. That girl is so shy, but I kind of like her, you know? She's awesome. All right, let's see what we can do now. So, what was he doing there? I have no idea. Anyway, I need to. We need to return to the detective agency, apparently. So I suppose we'll go straight and do the main story. That would be awesome. I want to see what happens. All right. So let me check my map here. See where we're meant to go. All the way down there. Okay. I wonder if we'll get into some fights on the way. Oh, oh. I just like bashed into a car there. Wouldn't it be really cool if we could drive our own vehicles in this game? Although I'm actually really bad at driving vehicles in video games. But I would still attempt it. <laughs> All the damn couples clog up the batting cages. They have bat batting cages in this game? Is that like the baseball thing? I think they had that in Yakuza 0 as well. I haven't really checked out all the mini games but i think i've um checked out most of them anyway all right let's do this you're going down dude ouch that was not nice all right let's grab this i want to grab this little cone thing i'm gonna take this guy out let's do this all right there we go i want to see if i can do an ex skill with this one all right here we go go crazy dude he's so brutal I enjoy Matthew you. Oh, is that the shy girl? I can't remember what she's called. Was that her name? I can't remember. Miss Morty, have you played Spiritfarer? I played the demo during the Steam Festival, but I have not played it since. But that could be a game that I play, you know, because it's actually on Game Pass and I do have Game Pass, so I could actually play that. But um, right now I want to focus on this. I want to do one game at a time. I don't want to do what I did previously which has have like three different games going at once and then just like i just never i just take too long to finish stuff and like um it just it, i just don't think it works so i'm gonna try not to do that it's so hard not to start like so many games though i just have this real bad habit of just like starting this game and starting that game and then i'm like oh i don't have time for all these games <laughs> That happens to me all the time. All right, someone sent me something. We have a present. Oh, I got a newbie detective pack. Nice. And something else. A truth seeker pack. And what else? Drone racer pack and extract crafter pack. I got loads of stuff. Ace detective pack. Nice. I have no idea what all this stuff was. Let's go in my items and check this out. I got a hug bomb. Experience a hug in liquid form. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, if you ever want a hug, just put it in a bottle. <laughs> what is this? This is so random. <laughs> okay, we have medikits here. We have some luck extract, stealth extract. We have some deadly tiger stuff. I think those were the little buns that I brought. So I guess that was like, this is like all the stuff I had. Hey look, I got a little robo sh um, chief. I think it's a, a robo chief, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. I got a little like teddy thing. I have a pass. I got some random bits and bobs here. Okay, nice. And I have some valuables. These are my little values. Where did I get this from? A QR code found on a poster. 
It offers online courses for mastering VR Shingen style Kuigong. <laughs> what? That looks really, really random. I don't even remember where I got that from. I have no idea. There are all my disguises. Um, I think I mostly just got like consumable items, I think, from that. But that's pretty, um, that's pretty good. I'm sure it will help us on our adventure. This lady looks really happy. Look how happy she looks. Hello. You look very happy today, lady. <laughs> Did something good happen? I don't know. <laughs> they have batting cages in Persona 5 too. Oh yeah, they do. They do. Actually, Mafu used the prosecutor who still has a crush on Yagami. Oh, that lady. Um, I do remember her. She she went off with that jerk, didn't she? There was like this jerk um guy um that Yagami kind of has a rivalry with I think he was a lawyer and she went off with him didn't she I think she like liked him or something but I don't know I have no idea what she sees in him but okay excuse me hello are you here about the job ma'am yes I'm Noriko and you came highly recommended all right is that why you're so happy because somebody's finally taking your case seriously i don't know <laughs> sorry to have kept you waiting here i'll get the door what a gentleman <laughs> so yeah i'm a private investigator you wanted me to investigate if your husband is cheating on you or not correct yes i'm afraid that's right I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. Okay, the darkest place. Let's go and, you know, figure this out. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. You see, my husband and I own a cafe on Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together ever since it opened. All right, so why are you suspicious? My husband's a good man, but he he's always kept to himself. We've been married for 40 years. That's a long time. And I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. Yeah, like why do you suspect him? I would usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. Oh, okay. I mean, there have always been slow days where he would leave to hit the pachinko slots or go to see a movie. But lately this has become an almost everyday occurrence. Could it just like be something else? But what leads you to believe that he's cheating on you? Perhaps he's simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Isn't that common at any age? <laughs> yes, I thought that might be the case at first too. But one day I stopped in at the pachinko uh, parlour he said he'd be at and I didn't see him anywhere. Okay, mm. and you're sure you were at the right place? This city has quite a few pachinko parlours. Dun dun dun. I wonder if... um. I wonder if he really is cheating on her. That's a long time. They've been married for 40 years. That's a long time, you know. The play pass is for the VR mini game. There's a VR mini game? I have not seen that. I don't think I've played that. Yoda in old woman Japanese form. <laughs> um, if it had only been once, I might not be so sure. But I assure you, I've been thorough. I've checked in several times now, and I've never found him there once. Interesting. I see. It sounds like you've done your homework then. Sorry for giving you the third degree there. Yagami-san, I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? All right, we can do that. You really want the gory details? Yes, I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. All right, I can do that. But I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen on my request. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Actually, I don't know. It just sounds like a lot. That sounds like a lot in, like, um, pounds, but, like, in um, yen, it might not be. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, he leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He even told me that he's been wanting to see a new movie that just came out. All right, so let's go and tail him. All right, the lady's shop is called Heavy Coffee and it's on Boulevard. I'll check it out. All right, let's go check out, see if this 
this guy is really doing the dirty. He better not be. 40 years is a long time, you know. Can I change clothes? Change of scenery. Oh, this is just decorating items. I remember. This is all the little things I've got on my shelf. Hey, my cat's fallen. No, don't fall. Put him, put him down. Oh, no. I put it away by accident. No, I want to put my cat out. Put my cat down there. It was just... It was falling. It keeps falling over. <laughs> that sucks. All right, stay. Stay. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the worst. It just won't stay upright. Can I, like, lean it against something? Should I put it on the end here? Let's put it against the wall or something. Oh, my God. That's really frustrating me. That's really, really... <sighs> Okay, I'm just going to put it away. It's just driving me mad. It's so cute, but it just won't stand up. And that's really frustrating. What about the little robo guy? The little robo bow guy will stay up. So <laughs> I'll put him out instead. I also got a vase here. But yeah, I don't really like the vase too much. It's a shame that I can't put the kitty out. I can, but you know, it just um, it falls over. And that's so, so frustrating i got like little shogi pieces over here i had them all lined up i don't know why i picked that up i had them all lined up perfectly i don't even know how i did that actually <laughs> that's fine and then over here is our record player i got a little vase over here a little plant thing awesome um i'm just gonna leave everything how it is right now i think some of those things were little prizes i won at the claw machine hey i can look in the fridge i didn't realize i could look in there there's food in there is that curry Oh, that doesn't look very nice in my opinion. <laughs> there's a no there's a note attached to it. Let's see. To Yagami-kun, I made you some curry. That was nice. But I thought regular curry would be too boring. So I added some bitter melon, one of my favorite fruits. Okay, I thought that spiciness of curry and the bitterness of the melon would balance out well. I hope you enjoy. Maybe it is nice, or maybe I don't know. Oh, and don't hold back when sending me your feedback either. Your honesty really helps me improve from Tomioka. I don't even know who that is. Does bitter melon really go well with curry? I should heat it up and find out. Can we do that? I wonder if it's good. I don't know. It looked a bit weird. <laughs> Her husband probably in the cabaret club. Do you think so? Oh, that would suck. Oh, he really liked it. Oh my... Oh, oh no, he didn't. <laughs> I thought he was looking up in like... um like amazement but no it was in despair <laughs> this is god awful i told you it didn't look nice I told you it looked gross i think there's a certain dlc that lets you put real cats on your shelf are you joking i would love to do that but wait i feel like that's a bit mean <laughs> um it's like trying to stand a figure up in real life i know it's so frustrating the VR mini game is a good way to get a lot of money. Also, you don't actually put a VR headset on. It's basically like a virtual Camarucho in game. Oh, cool. I need to find that. I want to play it. From what I remember, Tomioka is his landlady. Oh, that is one kind landlady, leaving us curry. But wait, doesn't that mean she would have had to have gone into our like little house to do that? Why did she have access to my house? And why is she just going in and putting curry in there? <laughs> I feel like that's a violation of Yagami's privacy. <laughs> I would hate that. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice gesture, but it just feels a bit weird that she just walked in and is into his like apartment. The curry's pungent spice only makes the bitter melon stand out and not in a good way. Oh boy. And the vegetables aren't even fully cut. Serving this would probably violate some kind of health and safety law. <laughs> Anyway, I should mes message Tomioka my feedback. It was gross. Absolutely hated it. Well, it's got a unique flavour. Would you mind chopping up the ingredients a bit more? Perhaps you could do it without the bitter melon. You haven't tasted it yourself, have you? That's very critical, dude. <laughs> So I tried your curry, Tomioka. Oh, um, I think I had options. I don't know. It's certainly got a unique flavour. I bet there are people out there who would really enjoy it, just not me. <laughs> However, you might want to aim for something a little more universal. Curry is pretty popular, so I imagine some people might be taken aback if the flavour's too off from their expectations. All right, that was a really nice way of wording it, I must say. But would I always have to eat garbage like this from now on? Oh, that's a good point. I mean, it didn't seem like such a bad gig at first, but after forcing this down my gullets, well, guess what's done is done. 
hope the next one tastes at least a little better. Yes, I hope so too, for your own sake, dude. You know, I really want to play the pinball machine in here. Like, every time I see this in the um, apartment, I just always want to have a little go on it. I don't know if they have, like, a pinball game in here. Also, he needs a way bigger apartment. Look how he just, like, struggles to get around. Like, he can't even, like, barely get past his stupid chair. Because, it like, there's, like, no room in this place. <laughs> he needs an upgrade, for sure. So I don't think I have any record players yet. Yeah, I don't think I have any of those. But, yeah, um, I'm going to have to try and collect some of those, for sure. All right, so that's it there. I don't think there's anything else for us to do in here so let's go out into the big wide world and see what we can do here okay so i think i'm full health aren't i am i full health how do you even check your health i don't even know i guess i guess i'll just have to see like when i get into combat or something i guess um let's see shall i go here let's try going here i'm not sure if this is the was this the the case that we were doing with the with the woman that was being cheated on? I think this might be it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it was a side quest or not. I've no clue. I'm a bit confused. I think it it kind of like looks like a side quest, but maybe it's part of the main story. I really don't know. I'm gonna go here and just like see what's going on here. Anyway, hey, look, there's there's our friend again. He's our friendly neighborhood dude just you know just wandering about <laughs> minding his own business all right we've made it oh yeah this is it heavy coffee awesome this is heavy coffee let's go see if we can find this guy tail him and see what he's up to that square cat you have is a mascot it is hmm a mascot for the VR game, is that what you mean? She wants you to try the food because she wants to become a better chef. Oh, Yagami agreed already. Oh, okay, I must have forgotten. <laughs> you can play pinball, but be careful. I think the music can get you a copyright strike. Oh, God, okay. That's one thing about um, streaming, streaming on YouTube, I suppose. Top left of your cell phone. What's on? I, I'll have to look. Hmm? Whoa, that guy teleported. Did you see that? <laughs> that must be my client's husband. Let's see where he goes. Alrighty. When you open your phone, you'll see it above. Okay, I will I will check. Um, we're kind of in the middle of this quest right now though. We have to tail this guy. He looks very unhappy. He looks very sad. Maybe he's just concentrating. <laughs> I don't know. He's concentrating on not being stalked. All right, Noriko's husband. I've got you, dude. Oh, no, I don't want that. Okay, we're just gonna go and hide here. You will never know that I am here. <laughs> he does not suspect a thing, I swear. I'm sure we will figure out where he's going and what he's doing. I'm on to you, dude. I'm on to you. All right, let's see. Maybe we can move up a bit. I think we'll be able to move up. Oh no, it's getting away, quick. <laughs> I'm being too slow being too slow with this all right let's knock over all the boxes because we can yeah <laughs> i'm being random oh he's right there he's right there he's right there what am i doing I'm being silly all right it's okay it's okay he doesn't know what we're doing i'm gonna go hide in this corner here he will never suspect a thing <laughs> i am very well hidden here <laughs> it's all good it's all good all right I wonder how far he's gonna go. I wonder if I can like pick up some of these things. I love how you can just walk into everything and just, oh my God, I'm just messing about too much. <laughs> but I just love how you can just literally run into everything. Stop looking this way, dude. Oh, God damn, it's so annoying. Get on with it already. <laughs> he's so slow. <laughs> Hello so what? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I really need to get back to playing this. Oh, have you not completed this either? I actually pre-ordered this game like a year ago and then I only did like the first chapter. Oh no, I'm being seen. I'm being seen. He sees me. He sees me. No. I'll hide here again. I don't actually know where he is. Oh, he's there. Why is he? I thought he went. I thought he I thought he disappeared. Oh, stupid guy. <laughs> I'm trying to tail this guy, but it's not going well. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm really not very good at being sneaky. I'm just too impatient. All right, is he backtracking? Is he coming back up this way? I don't know what he's doing. He's just standing in the middle of the road like a lemon. <laughs> he's taking a picture? Why is he taking a picture of that sign? That is so random. Okay. Is this what he does in his spare time? Is he taking pictures of just like random stuff? His wife thinks he's cheating on him, but he's secretly just going around taking pictures for some weird reason. <laughs> but okay. All right, let's follow him. He's definitely moved down now, so that's good. Let's see if we can find like another hiding spot somewhere where he hopefully can't see me. He'll be good. All right, I think I'll be okay here, I think. You gotta do this a lot on Black Flag. You do, I'm really not very good at like sneaking. I just like wanna run in. <laughs> But I have to be very stealthy and sneaky right now and I am sure he'll be alright. I have played Black Flag but I really, I can't remember very much from it. It was such a long time ago that I played that game. I just remember the shanties, the like the singing when you're on the ships. I loved that about it. That's probably like my favourite thing about that game. Is he not here? I thought he was here. Oh no, quick, 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 where'd he go? Uh, nothing, nothing to see here. He saw me straight away. <laughs> it's okay. He'll be all right. I'm doing good, thanks. I've been having a day of working on commissions and stuff. Ah, oh, I hope it's going well. You, um, and I brought it recently while it was on sale for very cheap. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> but um, I, I pre-ordered it when it came out um, with the intention of streaming it. And then, you know, stuff happened and then I didn't stream for a while. So now I'm hoping to continue it and see what happens. But I really love it so far. Like, I really love, like, um, detective games. Oh, this is it. This is the end. This red one. I think this means that this is the, the end of the tailing. Oh, right. So there we go. There's the lady he's going to meet, I think. I wonder if he's really cheating or if that's just, like, a friend or something. I don't know. The shanties are really funny. I love the shanties. They're awesome. A woman not looking positive. No siree. It's not looking great. She's caked in makeup though. Must be really trying to hide her age. Oh boy. The red brick again, maybe? Huh? Are they playing games or something? That works. What's the red brick? They're moving. The red brick, huh? That's got to be the Red Brick Hotel. Oh, I don't know. I, I instantly thought of Lego. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna. T I'm going to need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot, spot to catch them entering the hotel? Here or here? No, maybe here. I should follow them and get into a position that will give me a clean shot. All right, that sounds good. All right, so I gotta go into photo mode, photo missions. Your goal is to investigate certain incidents and capture the decisive moment on camera. Take a picture that ticks off all the check boxes on the right side of the screen. Okay, I think I have to like take pictures of whatever it tells me to take pictures of, I think. All right, let's see how well we do with this. <laughs> People run into bikes every day. Dude, it's not suspicious <laughs> all the time, man. All right, so raise camera. Okay, so I got to take pictures of random stuff. Proper, like, investigative stuff right now. Oh, so I have to fit everything of... Okay, I get it. I got to fit everything of um, the things that it's telling me on the side or the objectives all into one shot at once. So I got to get them entering the hotel. So I got to be really quick with this. I got to make sure I get the exact right moment. Just imagine if they turn around and you just see some dudes like just right there with a camera just aiming right at them. Oh, okay. I'm too close. Okay. Never mind. They do turn around. <laughs> uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> just um, texting someone, you know, <laughs> totally not taking pictures of you and being creepy in any way. <laughs> okay. I think they're about to go in, right? Is that the hotel? Can I take it right here? I take it. I don't know. Was that too early? Um, hard to call this evidence. Oh, um, they're coming this way. Oh, no. I think I messed up. I did it too quick. Shit. Um, what? I was like, I was panicking. <laughs> I did it way too quick. He's cheating with signs, that sicko. <laughs> My Johnny came rock and roll over. What, what, what? Is that lyrics? <laughs> okay, let's retry. 
Let's see if we can catch them in action this time. Assassin's Creed is a series I fell off after Black Flag. I've always hated the shoehorned in modern story that tries to tie them together. Yeah, um, I think Black Flag might have been my last one as well, actually. I haven't played many, many after that. I really liked all the stuff with like Ezio, like all the um, the weird stuff with like the apple and like all the, the crazy stuff with like the ancient civilization and that kind of stuff. I loved that stuff and they went away from it and then I was like, oh, <laughs> disappointment. But I used to get Assassin's Creed every single year for my birthday. I loved it. Such a great fran franchise. But yeah, they just don't really feel like Assassin's Creed anymore. They feel like something else. Like a totally different... I mean, they're not bad games, but they just don't feel the same as they used to. I don't know if it's just me or what. I don't know. I have to be a bit more patient this time. Oh god, I keep getting too close, don't I? Uh, just hide here. <laughs> not, not doing anything. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's just wait. Let's wait until the moment they enter. I think they were literally just about to go in as well. There, go. Oh, wait. Did I miss the husband? Hard to call. Oh, no. The husband was hiding behind the woman. He cheated. Oh, man. I was too slow. That sucks. Shit. I pressed it as Good. soon as the the um, the um markers came up. But, ah, uh, had to be. You have to be just like, you have, you have to time it just right. Oh, it's a shanty from Black Flag. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I just remember when that when they were on it being really catchy, but it's been so many years since I played that game. Okay, third time lucky. I better get it this time. This is annoying me now. <laughs> you just have to be like so precise on the timing. Dude, stop it. Stop seeing me. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, I swear. I swear it. Go investigate in here. What is this? Is this a shower or something? What is it? I don't even know. I have no clue. All right, um, <laughs> um, they're gonna get away in a minute if I'm not careful, but it's all good. It's all good. Should we go in Hotel Beauty? Let's check out what's going on. I can't. <laughs> Just being very nosy. All right, I'm gonna wait over here and hopefully they don't see me. Why is my controller vibrating? Is that something over here? It's literally vibrating in this corner. I don't, I don't know why. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just going to wait here because they seem to always turn round at that point for some weird reason. All right. Don't hide behind the lady this time because that was so annoying. Ah, oh, I missed him again. Why am I? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> Shit. I blew it. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I swear I had the husband in there. It just asked me to do it on easy. <laughs> sure, okay, I'll go on easy mode. Because I can't seem to get the husband in the picture. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's not even working. Stupid thing. All right, I'll get it this time, for sure. Silly thing. So annoying. Why does it have to be so precise? He was even in the picture. But I guess it wasn't like the perfect shot because he kind of was like behind her. But I'm not very good at timing this. <laughs> okay, let's just see. I One of the times as well, like I had all four ticked and then it just instantly went off. So I don't know, maybe I was just too slow or something. All right, I'm just going to stay back a little bit. Stay over here so they don't spot me. I love this town though. This town looks really awesome. All right, there they go. Around the corner. Right, this time for sure. I even pressed it when the exclamation mark came up. Really, really strange. Really odd. So annoying. All right. How about now? Did that work? Is it not? Yeah, finally. <laughs> that was really finicky. <laughs> you moved, Mulsey. Oh, I did. Oh, that's so annoying. It's really finicky. I don't like that. The husband's face isn't in focus, but... This is clearly solid evidence. All right, cool. But the photo doesn't look that different from the last one I took, but sure. Now to figure out who he's seeing. Guess I'll wait till they come out of the hotel. Okay. Awesome. We did it at last. It took me like four attempts. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Stupid thing. That was so like finicky. I had to be spot on with it. 
All right, awesome. So uh, now we can give that back to the uh, the the wife. Finally, not bad for your age, you two. Whoa, she looks creepy. Is it just me or <laughs> like her eyes look so creepy? I feel like she's gonna murder that guy. Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. Okay, but this could all be a misunderstanding, you know. You never know. You never know. I just feel bad for the wife. That's a long time, you know. But who knows? Who knows? Let's see what she's up to. Maybe she's gonna go get her nails done or something. <laughs> Home wrecker. All right. So now I have to follow this woman. Hopefully, I don't have to take any more pictures because I really suck at that but I'll get used to it I'll get used to it in time for sure I think all right I'm just gonna maybe yep she's turning around um I'm just gonna go hide over here <laughs> nothing to see here totally fine I will I will be hidden by the curtains nope okay she's not gonna she's she's gonna see me okay I failed <laughs> I thought she wouldn't see me down there but Shit. yeah it didn't work what? You need to keep still. Oh, okay. Was I moving too much? <laughs> that place you was first before you moved is the best place to take it. You can zoom in too. Oh, okay. I just need to get used to it. Like, it's my first stream on this game in, like, an entire year. So, like, I've really forgotten, like, a lot of things in this game. <laughs> so, I just need some practice. Okay, you got it. Alrighty. Let's see. We'll, we'll get it this time, this stupid lady. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna stay back because I keep running in like, I don't know. I guess I'm just a bit too eager and I just keep running in too far. So I'm just gonna stay back here a little bit and tail her the old fashioned way. See, I would be an absolutely terrible private investigator because I just run in there like so quickly. All right, I think she's turning around now. But we're okay here for a second, I think. I think we're fine. <laughs> awesome. All right, here she goes. All right, let's follow. I'm just gonna hide here for a second. And there she goes. This is the perfect spot right here. I wonder where she's going. Maybe she's going to Club Sega. It's literally right there in front of us. So maybe she just wants to play some games. I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right, she's gone around the corner, so we got to hurry, 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 hurry. All right, I'm just gonna hide here behind the vending machine. No one will see me. It's like perfect size. Oh, there's actually a spot here, actually. Awesome. She's going in there. Maybe is she really going into Club Sega? I was joking, but she actually might be. <laughs> I don't know. Time to expose. Yes, time to expose her. All right, I think we should I thought she was gonna meet someone then because she like stopped for a second. But maybe not. I have no idea what she's doing. She can't make up her mind. She doesn't know what she's doing either <laughs> by the looks of it. All right, come on, girl. She's taking forever. Just get to your place already. <laughs> I'm getting impatient. All right, I'm going to wait here a sec. Oh, she's gone around the corner. We're going to have to follow her. Make sure she doesn't get away. Oh, that's a perfect spot. I'll go hide here as well. This is a good view, actually. Why is she so, like, paranoid? Look how paranoid she is. She must be up to something. <laughs> she must be up to something super duper shady. We love your smile at Smileburger. <laughs> I like their slogan. It's kind of cute. And I think those are movies up there on the wall. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, has she changed her mind? Is she going into the bowling place? Oh, she's backtracking. See, she doesn't know where she's going. She's like, hey, I'm going to go that way. And then she's like, actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, I need to be inconspicuous and not be suspicious. It immediately <laughs> runs faster. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's me all over. <laughs> I get like super impatient. Like this tailing thing has been going on for a while now. <laughs> I just want to see where she's going. Come on, girl. Gosh, why is she going so far? All right, let's catch up to her. See if we can find what she's doing. You traitorous woman. Do you actually think she's cheating? I really wonder. 
Right, I'm gonna hide here behind this wall. Hopefully she doesn't backtrack or anything. Oh, that hiding spot probably would have been perfect, actually. Um, yeah, I'll go, I'll hide behind this one. That would be good. You have a beautiful voice. Usually I have problems with British accent, but with yours it's no problem. Thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. I think they said they would like to do more sequels with this cast of Judgment because Judgment surpassed their expectations. Ah, nice. That would be really awesome. Would you pre-order it if they made a second one or would you wait for a sale? I saw it in an article, I think. That's actually really awesome. So cool that a like a spin-off has done really well for them. But you know, spin-offs are sometimes you know really great ideas. Like we got Dragon Quest Builders from the Dragon Quest spin-offs, and look how well that did. That was an absolutely fantastic game. Oh my god, it's done! Yes, she's finally there. I feel like she just like walked like 10 miles or something. Like she just walked so so much. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna go around the corner, <laughs> but she took forever. Oh, we made it. Wait, this is... We're back at Heavy Coffee. What the hell? All that way and she just went back to the coffee place. Dang, okay. Could it be? Is she a customer or something? Guess it doesn't matter. The pictures should be enough for the client. Okay, I feel like this could be all just one big misunderstanding, but I have no idea. Hello, Noriko-san? Yagami-san, have you found anything out? Yes, I would like to go over my findings. Would you stop by the office? I'll be right there. See you soon. All right, I'm going to go meet her at the office. Alrighty, it sounds like a plan. I would pre-order a Judgment sequel. sequel. Nice, so would... I would really love this game. You really love this game? It is cool. Based on this evidence, I think it's safe to say that with almost full certainty that your husband is cheating. I don't know. Why do I feel like he maybe isn't? I see. Maybe I'm just being too optimistic about it, but I don't know. I mean, they did go into a hotel together, but I know I, know, I guess that is a high probability, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just hoping that, that he's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was there more, Yagami-san? Yes. Regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? That's... Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of the bar above the heavy coffee? Yes, you're absolutely right. I had no idea she was seeing... He was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool to not have seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Was he really cheating? That really sucks. Like I said, sometimes these kinds of details are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbour. That much is true. That's crazy. And now, the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it. Okay, I'm actually relieved to know. To think... I think I'll file for divorce. I see. I'm glad though. I'm glad to know. Rather than spending the rest of my life as an ignorant clod, I suppose so. Thank you for being so thorough. I'm just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. I don't need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. At least I hope so. Okay, this one ended up right where it started. Sometimes it really is darkest under the lamp post all oh, right so like right in front of your eyes i see you can now accept requests oh cool we can do requests now sweet is that side stuff or is that like the same thing or is this like a separate thing a detective's main business oh it is side cases this various requests that yagami handles are referred to as side cases cases. They can be accepted at the detective agency, bartender and gender office. All oh, right. Additionally, there'll be many times when you encounter someone on the street and a side case will open up. All oh, right. So we get money, SP and items for doing it. Um, you can also raise Yagami's reputation with deepening deepening his friendships with the locals. Sweet. Note that some clients will only show up to become your friend after you solve their requests. All right, that makes sense. So we're going to get lots of quests now. We got loads of money. Nice. <laughs> awesome. 
you can now play pinball in your office. Oh, you can play pinball. <laughs> That's amazing. So we can actually do it. But you said there's like music on it, didn't you, Key? Oh, maybe I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't try it. I don't know. I want to, but I'm scared now you've said that. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just have a little look off camera and just see um, see what the music's like or something, I don't know. So have we got something else in the, in the fridge? Oh, she's put more food in there. Now we have a chicken thing, okay, awesome. Oh my god, that looks interesting. <laughs> There's a note attached to it again. Um, I tried out that curry myself and honestly, that was the worst curry I've ever had in my entire life. Well, at least she's honest. Sorry for making you suffer through that. This time, it will be 10 times better. Okay, so feast your eyes on my special chicken carrage. I don't even know what that is. Who doesn't like that, right? And to spice it up a bit, I put wasabi in the flour just to add a little something. I'm sure I got it right this time, so please let me know. Okay, I hope this time it's good. Um, oh, is wasabi a bad thing to put in chicken? I don't even know. I like, um... I don't think that's something I have very often. I have a bad feeling about this, okay. I think wasabi, isn't it like really strong? I think, I don't even know if I've tried it, I don't know. Guess I'll have to try it out anyway. Okay, sounds good. Yes, I streamed Judgment like when it first came out. <laughs> And then, of course, I had like a year out of off streaming, so um, I missed out on a lot of stuff. But hopefully um, that's not going to happen again. Hopefully, you know, like, because I just had a really bad year, so that's why I had to take a, a big break. But hopefully, yeah, that won't happen again and I can continue streaming like usual and um, I won't have a massive break in between because <laughs> um, it really sucks because now I've got to like try and figure out all the buttons and everything again. So it's a pain in the butt for sure. This tastes like, is it bad again? Oh God, actually it tastes kind of good. Oh, okay. The wasabi, it gives it a nice kick. That's good. At least this time it's not traumatizing. As a matter of fact, it's sharp flavor might set it apart from other chicken, I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, that's good anyway. Whoa, oh God, is he dying? Blah, some pieces have way more wasabi than others. Oh God, it's not like even. I doubt that any customer will consider this a pleasant surprise. It'd be more like their last, their last surprise. <laughs> Okay, Keyboy, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a lovely night. Anyway, I should probably paraphrase this to Tomi Okasan. Okay, so how am I gonna say this? Um, the wasabi is all over the place. Let's get straight to the point, I think. And it honestly needs some work. For starters, you should apply the wasabi evenly so it's not inconsistent. The parts that did have the right amount of wasabi were delicious though. Please try a please, please try a taste the next time you cook. I'm begging you. Okay, that should be good. Alrighty, well, I think that was some um, very constructive criticism. <laughs> so hopefully she takes that on board. Compared to before, Tomioka does seem to be improving though. All right, awesome. Maybe her next dish will be fully edible. Maybe. Strangely enough, I'm actually looking forward to it. Sweet. Awesome. All righty. Can I, can I go again? I want to go again. No, she, we have to wait. This is just something that pops up every now and again, I think. All right. So we have some jobs now. What? There's a panty thief on the loose. <laughs> There's a guy stealing pants. <laughs> You're doing any better than last year? Much better, yes. Um, things were crazy last year, you know. I, I moved house and um, my dad passed away and we have, we've got corona going on and it was a crazy, crazy time and um, I just don't think um, I was in the right place, you know? But much better now, for sure. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Not even the police can get this guy. He stole my sister's panties. Oh my God. And now that he has her in his sights, I'm worried about what will happen next. I'll wait at M side cafe with my sister. I'm the pretty boy with black short hair. My sister looks just like me, but with longer hair. Okay, this sounds like a weird quest, but okay. My special jacket has disappeared. It was given to me by my older brother and it, le and it means a lot to me it's my soul more important than my life so we have an important mission to find a jacket 
<laughs> he gets some really random cases, doesn't he? But yes, I'm definitely going to do some of these side things too. I think that'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to start with the panty quest. Let's go because this is going to be such a weird quest and I can't wait. Um, hello, dude. Um, whoa, uh, are you all right? <laughs> God, that was abrupt. Whoa. Kim -san. Do we know this guy? Yes. You look kind of rattled, man. Don't try to get away, please. Oh, God. They are here. Sorry, got to run. Not if we can help it. Yes, Nightbot is a bot. Who the hell are you? Finally caught him, huh? Good work. Kasai san. I have no clue what's going on here. Give who to what? <laughs> Come on, man. It's damn disgraceful making a babe like her work at a Yakiniku joint. <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. Listen, Kim son, you might not know this being a foreigner and all, but we got a saying here a hot girl is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's not exactly how it goes. Yeah? <laughs> All this over a girl, huh? Doesn't reflect too well on you. Though in this case, it looks like that reflection's actually kind of accurate. This is really random. Hey, fucking business. Who do you think you are? A friend of Kim's. Someone who's not going to just stand by and let you beat him to a pulp. Yeah, give me some. All right, buddy. I don't want to do this. But you were asking for it. Picking a fight with the Kenta Kasai of the Kahin Gang. Let's see how smart you really are, Mr. Know It All. Okay, let's do this. Um, this was really random. Like, I have no idea, like, why this initiated, but sure. <laughs> Just, what, what even? I don't even know. Maybe this was, like, one of the side quests I picked up. I have no clue. It just seemed really random for sure but all right i'm gonna do my ex action thingy majig awesome all right who else who else want a piece of yagami he is not um you know going easy on you guys he is gonna go crazy ow <laughs> okay i'm gonna use this this bicycle because i think that's awesome oh yeah you can also do like attacks from like off the wall and stuff so maybe i should try doing those i can't remember how you do it yeah that's it that's it it's been ages since i did this actually i always thought this was really cool all right up like that and then i don't know why it doesn't seem to be connecting for some weird reason i don't know well i got ex things so i'll just do that instead i suppose all right kasai i am gonna take you down dude i think i don't have any more of my ex gauge left oh god he's gone into like special mode run <laughs> run for your life it's okay i'll just get this chair and he won't be able to do anything he's stuck in this corner i've got him stuck in the corner and now he can't move <laughs> that was my plan this whole time <laughs> yeah we did it awesome <laughs> holy smoke the bike swinging i know it's awesome right you can take like all the environmental objects and then just like use it in combat just like the old like um He's tougher than the old classic games no, it all like um bitch. streets of rage i think you can do that in now get lost and i better not catch you near kim san again yeah you stay away from kim san i'm not going down that quest. oh you want to you want another round you're gonna regret making an enemy out of the Kahin. He's gonna like throw more thugs at us. And don't come back. That's what you say when you win, dumbass. <laughs> Nobody asked you. <laughs> that was really random. You okay, Kim san? <laughs> this text for the help, Yagami san. We should probably get out of here before they come back. Yeah. Good Sounds call. like a plan, dude. <laughs> That was so random. Okay, did I get like friendship or something with that dude for doing that? I have no idea. We'll find out, I suppose. That was just so random. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this, Yakami san. Yeah, I, I never meant to drag you into my That's mess. okay, dude. That guy mentioned the Kahin gang. What's their deal? 
It's a group of thugs that have been running wild recently. They have the whole town in a tizzy. <laughs> Not even the Yakuza know how to deal with them. Huh. Must really be something, then. Oh, you got that right. They're a thorn in the city's side. One of the leaders, that Pankasai, won't stop coming for one of my employees. Oh, I don't want to think about what he wants with her. <laughs> so you were just looking I love this guy's reactions. I am her boss. But Yakumi-san, you really should not have gotten involved. Now, we were out for your head, too. Don't worry. I'll be just fine. Well, okay. Well, now, I will be here if you need anything. I love how he was like, oh, he if he, he was like, oh, he wants something with the girl that works here. Oh, <laughs> I just love the little like tiny rea reactions he was doing. That was just so random. OK, so we have um, some gang members and they constantly prowl the streets in search of Yagami's whereabouts. Am I wanted now? You can choose to ignore these goons, but deciding to teach them a lesson will net you SP and items. Be aware that the cops will come running if you take too long to win. If that happens, it's time to get the hell out of there. I'm really wondering what happens if you get caught like by the police. Do I would I actually like go to jail or something? I'm really curious about that. I'm sure it mentioned that like before. I'm sure it did. Okay, still nothing from Kaito-san. What now? I have no clue. I guess we just wait and just hang about. Um, I don't know. Speaking of streams, um, whoa, what was that? Erica, who voices Anne, has been streaming Persona 5 Royal. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I didn't even know she did streams, so that's really cool. It was heading toward the Millennium Tower. I better see what that's all about. Yeah, what was that? That was really random. <laughs> okay, a lot of random stuff going on today. So let me see. I want to check out my case files, actually. So I got like two side quests here. Ah, okay. So maybe that was for the main quest. Yeah, the Millennium thing. I want to do this one, though. I want to do this side quest in here. So I think that would be so funny. The main quest is like in the same area, though. So... Um, yeah, it might automatically, yeah, it's gonna automatically do the main quest for now. What was that anyway? Like drones? Mm. Yeah, I think the drone went down this way. All right. I am so bad at controlling those. Like, really, really bad. Huh? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it coming for me? <gasps> oh my god, did it knock me out? Ouch, what gives? So, so sorry. Hmm? Mm. Okay, this is really random. Uh, are you all right? Are you hurt? Yeah, what gives, man? I'm fine, I guess. Uh, oh, what a relief. Mm, but I guess my customization was all wrong. I need to put more of a focus on speed. Is there like drone racing in this game? Now, what's he babbling about? I remember there being like these little, little tiny micro machines that you could race in Yakuza 0, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was drone racing. I don't think speed is the point, man. You need to be careful where you're flying drones in a crowded city. Uh, oh yes, you're right. Sorry, this little guy goes pretty wild sometimes. It's not funny if you ask me. I'd say you're just a bad pilot. Oh rip, I can't argue with you there. But but flying drones is pretty hard, you know? Yeah. I know, I have one myself. Oh, you do? That makes us rivals then. It does. Excuse mm. me, rivals? Yeah, you're probably on your way to register now, aren't you? Oh my god, there's like drone flying. I'm so bad at controlling them too. <laughs> like there was a mission where you had to control them and uh, yeah, I sucked really bad. <laughs> This game reminds me of Shenmue. Oh yeah, that got remade um, not too long ago, right? Um, it actually looked pretty fun, although um, the cutscenes still look like quite funny and like outdated. <laughs> I've watched some like gameplay like little clips of some of Shenmue's cutscenes and some of them are absolutely hilarious. I want to play it just for that. <laughs> Oh, and speaking of... Oh, I've read that one. In fact, more voice actors are streaming games of late. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. It's good that more people are getting into streaming. Register for what? What? 
How do you not know the drone races, man? Oh God, there's a race. I'm gonna be so bad at that. I just know it, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> sure is, it's today. In fact, when my drone came at you, I was in the middle of a flight test. So, so I see, but is it even legal to fly that fast in the city? Of course it is for a race. You've got to go fast to win. In fact, the sign up area is just ahead. Why don't you enter? Huh? huh? Come on, right over here. All right, Um, I guess this guy's not going to give me a choice. <laughs> But do I have to do it right now? I like, I want to do the other, I want to do the side quest, the other one. This is where you sign up. Looks like you've got a pretty lively little community. Yeah, everyone's doing last minute mods for the race. Customs, huh? Yeah, tweaking it for maximum speed is the only way you're gonna win. Hey, I know, show me your drone. Have I just got one, like, in my pocket? Like, seriously? Where, where does he keep his drone? Where does he keep that? I want to know. Did he pull that out of his sock? Hmm. This could be a little rough, but I need to borrow your drone. Are you going to make some like improvements? Fine, but what are you planning on doing? Don't worry. This will make up for crashing into you earlier. Okay. Just going to do some just quick repairs and stuff. There. You're good to go. What did you do? I modify it, modified it so it'd be faster. Mm. You did? I don't see a difference. I only modified the guts, but when you see it in the race, your jaw's gonna hit the floor. That good? Okay, just make sure not to fly too fast outside of the race, okay? They've been cracking down on us because of a few bad apples. You mean like you? <laughs> Like flying it into my face. How does a guy who crash landed right into my face give me a speed lecture? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how that works. Shenmue's cutscenes are the best part. I know, right? <laughs> They're so funny. Hmm? What's going on over there? Hmm. Oh, that's the drone lab. Lab? To put it simply, they make drone parts. Yeah, this is just like pocket racing. Um, circuit pocket racing, I think it was called in Yakuza 0. If you're ever struggling with a race, you can hit them up to improve your machine. Ah, so the goal is to customize it yourself. Okay, you can obtain materials for drone parts as prizes for mini games or by finding them in the city. I remember you used to get the parts from like vending machines in Yakuza 0. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same thing. Oh, right. I think that does it for me. Next time we meet, I'll be on the racetrack. Okay, sounds like a plan, dude. Um, I will definitely try this out at some point. Maybe we could have a little go now just to try this out. Oh, I never gave you my name, did I? It's Makihara. Okay, I'm Yagami. Nice to meet you, dude. If you ever have any questions about drone racing, let me know. All right, I'll try, but I'm probably going to fail like so bad with this. Drone racing, huh? Well, it does sound fun. Might as well try it. I prefer the drones to pocket circuit. Oh, really? Is it more fun? Like, um, um, pocket racing was okay, but you don't really do much. I think you just like tapped um the X button or something. You didn't really actually control Hello? it. Yo, Kaito. Ayabe's ready for us. Says he might have some info on the mole. Nice work, Kaito-san. <laughs> We're meeting at that indoor fishing pond. Koi brides or some shit. You heard of it? Indoor fishing pond? We have a lead. Neither had I till about nice. ago. Anyway, it's over on Shichifuku Street. I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm looking forward to that, but for now, since we're like literally right here, let me like try this out. Um I wanna do some drone racing. Dude. Hello dude. I want to talk to you. Welcome. This is the drone lab. Care to develop parts? Oh god, this looks really complicated. Okay, maybe I was just like I just saw all the numbers and I was like, oh boy. But I don't think we can. I don't have like materials or anything, so I don't think this. I think this is just like where you make different parts. So I don't think I can do anything here right now. Let's try the other side. Is this the actual racing bit? Welcome. This is where you can register. Have you ever? Um, flown a drone. I have um, a test flight. I guess I could do a test flight. That may be a good idea. I haven't played in a while after all. So these are all the courses. There's quite a lot of them from what I am seeing. Wow. I'm just going to do the simple one for now and just see how we go. In my opinion, the drone racing is really boring. Do you think so? 
Um, then again, pocket racing is boring too, so it's not saying much. Yeah, I mean, you didn't really do a whole lot in the pocket circuit thing. You just kind of like watch it and uh, hit a, a couple of let's buttons race. every now and again. It gets, it gets some cool shades though. You see those cool shades? All right, let's do this, I think. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I see. It's one of these. You just, just like go through the little circle thingies. I would go up and down. Oh, I see. All right. I think I could. Oh, gosh. I like hit something already. I'm eighth. I've always been bad at racing. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to get with this, you know? Um, Why was there like two circles to go through in that one? You can't go through both of those, can you? I don't know. I have no idea what that was about. But okay, yeah, I can see what you mean about this being boring. I mean, like, it literally just is well at least this circuit anyway you literally just find like just in a well we're just going in a circle <laughs> so yeah not much to it for this one for sure wouldn't it have been more awesome if they put like like little power-ups and stuff in because like usually um that's the kind of stuff that i usually like to play i think these are just like speed up things actually i don't think you actually have to go through those I think it just speeds you up and that's about it. But it's super simple. Like you really only have to hit the trigger to go and that's basically it. So yeah, it's really, really simple for sure. Um, I don't know if it gets more complicated later, but it does seem super simple for now. I don't even know if I'm gonna win. I'm still behind this dude. I'm only second and there's a 30 second time limit. So I don't know, I don't know. All right, maybe if I get a few more of these, I might be able to catch up. Oh, I'm so close, so close, so close. He's right there, dude. <laughs> Isn't there any shortcuts I can take? I got second, I think. Was I second? I think I was second. Yeah, I was second. Oh, I didn't get first. <laughs> no, I don't want to upload that. That's just no embarrassing r1 gives you another turbo oh i didn't know there was another turbo i should have used that i might have got first if i had have used that <laughs> like mario kart power-ups miss yeah that would be awesome i've actually never played mario kart ever so uh i should really try that game at some point i bet it's quite fun actually um the only like um like racing games like that I've played is Crash Team Racing but I didn't play I haven't played the remake I don't have that I played like the really old one on like the PS2 or the PS1 I can't remember what it was on but the really old one I played that one and um, I've played a game on the 360 called Blur which I really enjoyed actually um, other than that, I can't really think of um, many other games like that that I've played. Um, I'm going to do this side quest, actually, because I think this side quest sounds absolutely bonkers. And I think it would be really funny, so I want to do this. I don't know if I'm going in the right place. I have no clue. Oh, hello. There's, um, oh, it's you. Yes, it's you. Excuse me. Um, you must be... Sao Tome san I probably completely butchered that. I'm no good with pronunciations. <laughs> they are all kind of like this circuit. The only thing you the only thing is you have tighter corners to turn, so it just gets tedious. Uh I see. After you've done like, you know, quite a few of them, I can imagine it would get a bit boring. It was PS1. Oh, thank you. I forgot I couldn't remember. I can at least say that pocket circuit goes by fast. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really quick. The cars go, they zoom past. The later drone races go on way too long, making losing feel like you wasted your time. That's a shame. That's a real shame. That really sucks. And the last Naughty Dog game um, before, what? And the last game Naughty Dog made before giving up the rights to Crash Bandicoot. Oh, I see. <laughs> that sucks. Um, okay, anyway, I'm Yagami, the detective you were asking about. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you, Yagami-san. And yes, I am Yosuke. Okay, cool. And this is my sister. All right, is this the one? Is she the lady that's had her panties stolen? <laughs> They've been stealing her pants. Thanks so much, Yagami. -san. I don't know why, <laughs> but okay. Guess they're twins or something. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's get down to business. Let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, he literally just said what I said. That was so weird. <laughs> that seems to always happen to me. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I didn't even see it until after I said it. 
<laughs> That's so weird. What can I help you with? Before that, Yagami-san, I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of the Twisted Trio? No, I can't say I have. Should I have? Well, yes. They're a gang of perverts who have been terrorising Kamarocho. Okay. Stealing underwear, public groping, peeping on unsuspected couples. These guys are shameless. Oh, damn. Okay. First time hearing about them. Now you know. They're three really bad guys and they have names to prove it. Our problem is with the panty professor. <laughs> this is just so stupid. <laughs> Hello Matthias, I am enjoying the game, thank you. Um, it's getting a bit wacky right now. <laughs> we gotta hunt down a panty thief. <laughs> These side missions that focus on perverts are some of my favourites, they are really funny. <laughs> it does sound really bizarre. Jack and Daxter also had a racing game. I've never played Jack and Daxter actually, I did miss out on those ones. Jack X Combat Racing, which takes place after Jack 3. Is that a good one? Like, is the racing game on that fun? Or do, do you find that one boring as well? Um, okay. Huh. The Panty Professor, did I hear that right? I'm afraid so. His obsession with women's underwear is how he earned that one. Oh god. Okay, let's see where this goes. Which brings us to my request. A few days ago, my sister fell victim to this panty professor. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Yagami-san, you have to bring this wretch to justice. Yes, we cannot let this go, um, just cannot let this go, man. Please, detective, I can't even relax in my own bedroom anymore. Is he actually coming in your room and stealing them? Like, damn, okay. Well, I need a little more info first, and I'm sorry if this is uncomfortable to discuss, but it's fine. But, um, every time I hang my panties out to dry on the balcony, they get stolen. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't hang them in the balcony. <laughs> It never fails, especially with my panties that have a certain style, okay? The guy must be particular about his fetish. Can you imagine? Just, just why? Can you imagine just somebody just, like, actually going out of their way to steal pants? Just, what is the world coming to? Have you managed to catch a glimpse of the culprit? Actually. Well, not exactly. He actually steals them with a drone. Oh, okay. A drone? Yup, that's his MO. You could even say it's his calling card. Ah, so that's how you came to suspect you were a victim of the panty professor himself. <laughs> and have you gone to the police with this? Of course we have, but even with all their resources, they're struggling to tighten the noose on this guy. His drone is pretty fast too. Then it sounds like we'll need to set up a trap to catch him. Okay, this is going to be interesting, I think. <laughs> Hello, Maltzy. Did you secure your PS5? Uh, no. I was tempted to. I would have had to have, like, stayed up all night to, like, pre-order one. Um, I decided it wasn't worth it because most of the games are actually coming to PS4 anyway. I thought it would be best to hold out. I'm just gonna wait till like Christmas time, see if there's anything like coming around Christmas and see how I feel then. But it's also a lot of money, you know, it's a lot of money for a PS5 and I just don't think it's worth it just yet with only, as far as I can tell, Ratchet and Clank is the only PS5 game, right? And like Demon Souls or something, but Demon Souls are too hard for me anyway. <laughs> so I wouldn't go for Demon Souls. I do really want Ratchet and Clank though, so, um, but we don't have a release date yet so no clue when that's coming out at this moment in time so I think I'll wait for Christmas. I just found out about an awesome looking game called Vigil the Longest Night coming out in October. Oh cool I'll have a look. If you like Metroidvania type games um, I'm not sure I haven't played many Metroidvania type games so I'm not really sure like um, I think I said in a previous stream, like, the only one I have played, like, recently, and it wasn't even recently, it was what, a long time ago, was Helmut. Um, but it was a long time ago. It was, like, uh, about this wolf. It was, like, this wolf creature, and he, like, um, 
I think he was he, he could have like he had like this demon power or something and he could like there was like all these different weapons or something it was a long time ago but it was pretty cool actually I liked it um got scared then I thought the stream ended because I left for a bit and it wasn't at the top of my sub list you well you joined in at just the right time smithereens because we're about to catch a panty thief <laughs> Some some weird pervert has been going around stealing um this poor girl's underwear, so we're gonna try and catch him. <laughs> it's really random. Then you plan on taking the case? I offered fifty thousand yen. That sounds like a lot, but I don't know. That's fine. But you're a student, right? Can you afford that? Oh, don't worry about me. But how will you catch him or lure him out with panties? Of course. <laughs> That's a good plan, but then we'd need to know what his preferences are. Oh my god, we're gonna go and find out what kind of knickers he likes. Does he like pink ones? Does he like see-through ones? <laughs> I don't know. She needs to spill it. This is about to get awkward. Oh my god, we're gonna ask her what pants she wears. <laughs> Great time to come back. Um, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, ask for the sake of the investigation. We must know what panties she's wearing. <laughs> um, if you want my help, you'll need to divulge what kind of panties you wear. <laughs> I feel so dirty right now. <laughs> huh? It's how it has to be. Are they white? Black? Thongs? Oh, getting into all the juicy details right now. <laughs> He's right. The more details you can give me, the better our chances. Oh boy, you really need a lot of details, huh? <laughs> Do you really want to catch this guy or not? He wouldn't ask unless he needed that information. Yeah, I really, I need this information. It's like super important, man. <laughs> this is hilarious, even though it shouldn't be. <laughs> Must be so awkward. Yeah, she looks very awkward right now. Please. He's right. Trust me. This is purely professional. I don't have any personal stake in this. Are you sure, Yagami? Are you sure about that? There's a pattern, I guess. There's a pattern. Okay. And that is their lace, mostly black, but I have a few red pairs too. Some have little ribbons on the front. Oh, they sound adorable. <laughs> That should be enough. Thanks for your bravery. All right. Well, that could have gone worse. Okay. I'll find some panties just like that and I'll set the trap. Isn't it going to be kind of embarrassing going out and buying pants? Like, a woman's pants? I don't know. I have no idea. If this panty professor guy is really out there, that should lure him out. But even if it does, how would you catch him? That's why he uses the drone. Oh, yeah. Good point. The drone has to go somewhere. If I put a GPS tracker on the panties, I'll know exactly where. Okay, that's pretty clever. I'm looking forward to your results, Yagami-san. Thank you so much. Help us get this pervert off the streets. We must save the town from the horrible pervert girl. <laughs> a pervert man, I mean. <laughs> Not pervert girl. How would he even be able to steal her underwear unless he broke in and or knew her to have access he steals it from her balcony she puts it out to dry on her balcony and then he comes in and he steals them <laughs> are you talking about okami is that the little wolf game no 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 not that no it was a completely it was like a metroidvania game that i played it was like a really small indie title it wasn't okami i know what that game is that's that little um the little game where you have like a little paintbrush don't you and you like paint stuff and it's like um it's like a little action kind of game sort of i've seen bits and pieces of it i actually do have that game but i've not played it before no but i wasn't talking about that one um okay we're looking forward to your results. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Yep. I'll do what I can. All right. Um, this is going to be interesting, I think. <laughs> I can't wait to see what kind of person this guy is. It's going to be so bizarre. Guess I should head over to Limash and buy some panties. Good times. <laughs> good times, good times. All right. So to buy some panties. I never thought that I would be doing this in a video game like seriously no I don't want to go that way I think that's the wrong way actually I think I have to go this way out of my way chairs and I'm on my way I'm on a mission very important mission <laughs> this is so bizarre um could I just like jump over 
yeah i'll just jump over who needs to use the doors like that's just too much time and commitment <laughs> just jump over it's fine okay so i gotta go over there i'm gonna put a marker on it is it still in the same building i'm not even sure i'm just gonna go round because that's where my marker is telling me to go and I think that would be easier. All right, so, oh wait, that's the main mission, isn't it? I'm getting really confused. I wanna do the side thing. Hold up, hold up. So where do I go for this? Let me check my case file. Maybe I just have to go to a random, oh, we have to go to Limache, which is down there. I don't actually think, oh yeah, 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 I see it all the way down there. I totally didn't see it for a second. All right, awesome. Um, I just have to make sure I don't accidentally bump into the main story because I really want to do this one. All right, I got some guys chasing me, but that's fine, I think. This guy wants a full uh, body scrub or something. <laughs> the guy's saying such random stuff as you're walking past. I love just like the random chit chatter they talk about as you just walk past all the like pedestrians. I think that's really awesome that they just add it like just makes it feel like a bit more alive. It makes the world feel a bit more alive, you know? I think it's really cool. Okay, so in here, we're gonna go buy some pants in here apparently. So, hey dude, I'd like to buy some pants. I'm totally not creepy, I swear. Oh, here we go. Panties. Some nice red and laced ones. 10,000 yen for some panties? Isn't that a lot? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. Side missions are marked with blue case folders. Thank you. I think this is like one of the first ones I've done. Would you like this gift, gift wrapped? Nope, nope. <laughs> He says, no, I had a more immediate need. And he's like, an immediate need, sir? Very well, sir. Discretion is our guarantee. Well, um, That was awkward. They're not for me. <laughs> of course not, sir, to each their own. I'm really on a roll today. Yes, you are. Once I have a tracker on these, I'll need to take them up to the roof. All right, and then we can just fly them off the, off the roof and be like, goodbye, Aww. panties. <laughs> All right, so let's check out where... Oh, it's literally just here. I like to put a marker on everything. <laughs> just makes it so much easier to find stuff. All right, so down here... Wait, oh, uh, uh, there was a little thing on the floor. I missed it. What's that noise? Sounds like a bomb or something. Run! An alarm? Where's it coming from? Oh, it literally is a bomb. Um, okay. What? That was an explosion. What on earth? Run for it! Call the police! Is this the same quest? I don't know if I walked into another one. I'm so, so confused. Holy crap, how much is 10,000 yen? I don't know, it sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But I have no clue. <laughs> Oh my goodness, who is he? Spider-Man? Or maybe a ninja? Oh no, he uses a drone. He uses a drone to get the pants from the balcony. I should have said that. <laughs> he doesn't actually go up and get them. He gets a drone to do it. Hello, Loto. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? There are also ones you don't find at your office. You just find them walking around. Oh, so I just found a new one? Okay. Oh, I didn't know I have you on this. Ah, oh, you found my Twitch, the Twitch side. <laughs> I'm on both. I'm on Twitch and YouTube. Is it terrorists? Some kind of Yakuza thing? I have no, no clue. That noise again. Another bomb? Where's it coming from? Why am I being bombed? I'm just trying to mind my own, you know, my own business. I'm just buying pants and stuff. Why am I being targeted by bombs and no uh <laughs> i want to carry on with this quest so we're just going to ignore that bomb i'm sure it'll be fine i'll just put a sign out like in front of that alleyway and just say don't go down this way because there are bombs down here <laughs> or something all right we're going to go in here um i think this is where we have to go we have to take these these knickers to the roof I think so up here to the roof yes all right time to head up let's do this because you're the boom oh dude we're gonna explode I hope not um that's a hundred USD I don't know what it is in euros it's easy to convert it into USD that sounds like a lot still damn okay I guess this should do it that's a lot for a pair of underwear, wouldn't you say? Would you pay that much for a pair of, like, for a pair of knickers? I mean, <laughs> I know you probably wouldn't buy them in the first place, but 
<laughs> it seems like extortion. I wonder how obvious this is, though. He might see right through it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, still worth a shot. All right, let's see if he takes the bait. I hope so. <laughs> Only time will tell. All right, I'm just going to have a drink real quick. The drone is coming! Wow, he actually took the bait. That is absolutely insane. All right, we're gonna catch you red-handed dude. Nice. Yes, he took the bait. All right, <laughs> he's taking our knickers. He's gone with our knickers. Now I just follow the signal of our intrepid panty thief to the source, the batting cages. What's he doing with all these knickers? Should I ask? I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to ask, but at least, at least he's stealing clean ones. <laughs> it could be worse. He could be stealing dirty ones, which would be even worse, man. <laughs> but okay, we're going to go up here and um, we're going to meet this guy face to face, hopefully, to find out what exactly he's doing. What is he up to, this uh, horrid dude? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> yeah, you kind of joined at a weird time, low, so... <laughs> We're tracking down a panty thief. <laughs> it's really random. <laughs> I'm pretty sure drones weren't designed for that. <laughs> for that purpose. If... I don't know if that's a word. I have no clue. Not one I've ever seen, but I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they were designed for that purpose. But, you know, people do crazy things for sure. <laughs> Limarch has brands that are from other countries, so their products are more expensive. You usually use it to buy gifts for girls. Yeah, I remember going in there a few times to buy gifts for people in Yakuza 0, and yeah, they are quite expensive for sure. So, um, he's in here somewhere, right? I don't know. Shall I go in this one? I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't actually want to, like, play. I just want to find this guy. Hold on, what does my map say? Let's see, is he actually... Did it, is he not in here? Hold on. It says he's in there. That's weird. I don't know. I have no clue. I didn't see him. Hmm, let me just go, like, see what people are doing in here. Oh, maybe through here? Oh, okay. I didn't realise there was a door here. I don't even know if I've been here before. I don't know, have I been through? Oh, that just goes through the other side. Oh wait, is he on the roof? Hold on, there's a little place up here. He could be hiding up here. It would make more sense, actually. He's like hiding. Oh, there he is. There's the panty thief, I think. Wait, actually, no, that's a shogi player. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were the panty thief. He's just like um, chilling out and playing shogi, I think. This is him, here. Is he? Oh, dude, he's sniffing him. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> oh god, the dirty ones are more expensive. <laughs> the panty professor, no less. You can go onto roofs. I got um confused the first time too. Yeah, um, I couldn't find him. <laughs> this is so bad. Ew, I know, right? <laughs> the fragrance is, is fresh, but there are notes of musk. Oh my god, no. <laughs> so bad he's really into it like really into it perhaps this is a nice and burly working woman type is that what he does he tries to work out what kind of lady is wearing them hey. oh god hey you you over there doing uh dirty things <laughs> hmm who dares to disturb my feast <laughs> you're the one they call the panty professor Indeed, I am. I have a great many names. Oh my god. <laughs> Panty Professor, Skivvy's Scholar, Lingerie. <laughs> oh my god. It gets worse the more it goes. But why Why they are clean? I, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. That's what I was thinking. Like, if you were going to do that, like, <laughs> you, you wouldn't they steal dirty ones? <laughs> But that's even worse, so, you know, I don't know. Oh my goodness, look at this freak, he needs a girlfriend. <laughs> look at that smile, though. <laughs> Perhaps you've come to partake of the banquet with me? He thinks we're going to join in, or are you just a scavenger hoping for sloppy seconds? <laughs> oh god, why? What's happening? 
Not to ruin the moment, but those are actually mine. Well, not mine, per se. I brought them to lure you out. Imagine if they actually were his, though. What? I don't deserve this punishment. Yes, you do, dude. Yes, you really do. <laughs> It's like, wait, let me just get one last sniff just to make sure, just to make sure. <laughs> you never know. Oh, he was checking. Yes, um, I think so. Hey, blah, I'm gonna puke. I've been basking in the scent of man sweat. <laughs> but it wasn't though. We didn't try them on. Just come along quietly, man. We'll find you some real strong odours down at the station. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Never! There are far too many panties in the world just waiting for me to discover them. It's like his very own panty adventure. <laughs> if you're going to interfere, then this is where you die! You're actually gonna try and fight me over some pants. Um, sure, okay. Damn, he's going for a gun. He is? Are you sure? Oh, oh wow. Um, he's gonna attack me with pants. Are you for real? Wait, whose are those? These belonged to none other than the heartthrob supermodel Arissa Takeda. Oh my god. Wow, that is disturbing. I know, right? Multi doesn't want to be part of the panty sniffer cult, that's for sure. It's a bit too extreme for me, you know? <laughs> Uh, the whole dirty panty thing is big in Japan. You can actually buy them out of vending machines. What? Okay. You learn something new every day. <laughs> that is very strange. Why would they... I don't even know. I don't even know, even know if I want to know. But sure, okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, he's having a good sniff. Look at those, the sound effects. Literally hear him sniffing them and having the time of his life great <laughs> yes 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 their footsie power is welling up within me oh my god he's transforming all that panty power is too much for him he's going <laughs> super saiyan mode <laughs> what is he actually getting stronger oh my god the scent of eros grants me strength <laughs> Prepare yourself for the might of my swelling libido. Oh, God. <laughs> he had to quite the collection. Do you think so? If you just went into his house, you'd just have, like, this huge stack of panties, do you think? <laughs> um, what? Yeah, it's weird. I know. That's absurd. It's very peculiar, for sure. <laughs> All right, panty professor. You are going down. No more panty sniffing for you. Your pan in panty sniffing days are over, dude. All those poor girls who've had to buy all those underwear. Do you know it's a... Uh... See, it's a lot of underwear. I bet he's stolen so many. Like, they would have to all buy his underwear again. I know, uh, like, underwear is not really that expensive. But if they're 10,000 yen per underwear, like, he just brought them, you know, um, that's going to add up. <laughs> I'm saving all these girls on, on their money <laughs> from buying underwear all the time. That would be so annoying. All right, um, let me see if I can do this. This guy, he needs to be taught a lesson, so he stops sniffing people's underwear that's not cool that's pretty gross you know all right let's do this i'm gonna take him down um i don't think there's any like environment stuff for me around here to get him with i thought he was actually gonna like use the panties as a weapon and start like whacking me with the pair of panties <laughs> but i guess not he just used it to power up instead which is equally as strange but um yeah i it's quite funny as well that guy over there the shogi player he's just been like like, sat there the whole time with his shogi his like you know it's like Japanese chess isn't it so he's just been sat there this whole time while this whole like panty scenario has been playing out behind him <laughs> can you stop kicking me on the floor jeez can you like give me a moment to breathe like stop <laughs> he just keeps punching me all over the shop ah like when he does that combo I literally can do nothing it's really annoying ah stop getting ragdolled all over the floor here he's so close to dying too it's all right i got this i got this i need to work on my combat skills 
All right, there we go. I, I keep thinking block is the other button, but it's not. All right, there we go. I'm blocking. You can't get me. All right, nearly there. Got him. Yeah, the panty professor is down. We are victorious. No more panty sniffing for you, dude. No more panty sniffing for you. Is he actually a professor? Yeah, professor of panties. <laughs> Didn't you know? What? A human can do that? We should do it with the armed forces? Say what? <laughs> Japan's a strange place. It's very strange. I call it strange and wonderful. In this case, maybe not so wonderful, but most of the time, wonderful. You should throw a dirty pair of boxes at him. It's his only weakness, <laughs> like kryptonite. <laughs> that would be amazing if you could do that. I mean, any kind of entertainment is allowed as long as it's censored in Japan, I mean. It's a crazy place, for sure. But, I mean, it's unique and interesting. <laughs> How? Even my panty fueled rage couldn't cut the mustard. <laughs> hey, you're coming downtown, sicko. Oh, you've been caught red-handed, -hand dude. I may have fallen limp, but the others still stand erect. <laughs> they shall ensure you meet your end. <laughs> See you in hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's enough out of you. Come on. Um. Okay, I should tell the twins what happened. Right. Yes. Um. We caught him, and he was sniffing your underwear. Like, I'm sorry. Actually, it wasn't. It was the underwear we brought. But I imagine he sniffed hers too. So she is not in the clear. So those are the kind of quests we're gonna expect in this game. So uh, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be an interesting ride, I think. <laughs> you can rest easy now. The panty professor's going away for a long time. Banzai! <laughs> You're amazing. Awesome. We actually caught him. You did great, now I can sleep in peace and my underwear can stay on my balcony. But before I forget, I think Tsukino wanted to ask a favour of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot. Um... This is hard to ask, but yes, don't worry, I can take it. Yeah, after that, I mean, <laughs> can you um destroy any records of what I told you about my panties? Knowing that knowing that's out there is mortifying. Um, I think that would be kind of impossible. I just streamed it to the world. <laughs> I have to destroy every single person's computer and my PS4 and just everything. <laughs> That's impossible, I'm sorry. It's out there. <laughs> sure, if that will make you more comfortable. <laughs> this panty professor is probably the first guy to actually see them, huh, Tsukino? Didn't I just say I didn't want to think about it? Oh god. <laughs> wow. The quests in this game are a trip, yeah. I mean, most of the Yakuza games have these just bizarre quests and I absolutely love them. It's why I love the Yakuza games because they have just this, this amazing blend of the serious drama moments and then just like these absolutely outrageous, stupid quests that just always make you laugh and you, it's just really unique. Like you're never going to find a quest like this in any other game, at least I don't think so. <laughs> I'd be surprised if there was something like this in another game. So yeah, um, I think it's awesome. It's definitely different. Hey Yagami-san, just so you know, Tsukino is on the market and I'd say if you wanted to see her panties, hey now, uh, get out of here with that. <laughs> Serious? Going a bit too far, dude. <laughs> you can date her later on the, in the game. Oh, really? Although it's definitely weird. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> If there's 13 people here, where's the others? I don't know, in bed? <laughs> I have no clue. He's quite good at fighting for an underwear sniffer. I know, right? He's had practice. Maybe he's like been beaten up like by other people before. The Twisted Trio. Let's hope the cops get to deal with the other two. Oh yeah, there's two more other perverts in this game as well. Um, We still haven't found those. I don't know if they're like all panty professors or if they have like other obsessions. Like maybe one of them likes bras or something. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing, like, to, to make the quest different. Maybe they decided to do, um, different things. 
<laughs> I have no clue. Um, so I still have like two, I think two quests to do. Oh yeah, we should go eat something because I am kind of dying right here. So the closest um, place to eat is right here, which I think is Smile Burger. Actually, it's so, I think it's Smile Burger. Maybe it's not. I see beef bowl stuff over there. There is a material over here. Let's go grab this. I got some cheap plastic. Alrighty. Nice. He got lost apparently. Move out of my way. I love how you can just literally, I could clear out this whole place. Alright, you're gonna leave and then I'm gonna go and make you two leave out of my way. I want this whole shop to myself. Out you go. Out you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> whole place to myself i could pick any chair i want although i've knocked them all over i'm sorry about that sorry i just kind of ruined your business <laughs> and he still welcomes me in what a lovely lovely guy <laughs> your kids does have that nice blend of seriousness and funny stuff yeah i absolutely love that who wants to think of this stuff i don't know <laughs> Very, very strange. I think there's four girls in all that you can date. Yes, um, I think you can date them all at the same time. So you can be like a four timer. Absolutely insane. I can buy the coleslaw now. I wanted to buy the coleslaw earlier, but now I can actually buy it. I don't know if that's going to fill me to full. It doesn't seem like a big dish. I have no idea. I like coleslaw. Coleslaw is quite good. good. But yeah, that too. didn't fill, fill me up to full. Um, so I could buy some other stuff. Hey, that was delicious. Good coleslaw, Come dude. On. Thanks. I've noticed you've been here a couple of times. I have? I don't know. Yeah, I try to swing by every so often. Cool. All right. Awesome. He's introduced himself. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because um, I'm going to fail. <laughs> you got yourself a name partner? Yeah, I'm Yagami. Okay, I'm new here. Did you just arrive or something? Actually, I've been here for a while, but it's still new to me. That makes sense. It does take some time to adjust. All right. You got that right. Never thought I'd end up in Kamarucho of all places. All right, so what's your problem? They usually always have some kind of problem. I started off listening to Japanese music. I'd look up words I didn't know and study them as much as I could. That's pretty cool. Next thing I knew, I ended up here, mastering the language that moved my heart. But I still have a long road ahead of me. Maybe we can teach him Japanese or something. Well, I think you're doing just fine. Take it one step of, at a time and I'm sure you'll be alright. Thank you very much. Please come again. Alrighty. Okay, sweet. So that was cool. I'm gonna order something from him again. So we might even raise our relationship with him again. So I do really like how it ticks off everything that you've eaten. So we're just gonna do like one at a time. Oh, yep. I wanna... You want to buy that? I want to buy the miso soup. That looks nice too. I like when the devs hide secret missions in games. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it when they put like Easter eggs and stuff in as well. I think that's really awesome. Did you see you just threw that chair on the floor? <laughs> I think it was me by accident. Um, that you'd only find if you pay attention to the details of the world. Like in Red Dead Redemption 2 with the vampire. There was a vampire? I totally missed that, man. I don't remember seeing that at all. <laughs> I played through it, but um, I think there was a few quests I missed, actually. Mmm, that was good. Thanks, glad you came by. So, um, are you getting used to Japan? Yes and no. I'm finding that Kamarucho is kind of dangerous hate to say it but around these parts it is welcome to the jungle it's a crazy place for sure a woman got shot in the city just the other day oh that stuff only happens once in a blue moon you'll be okay is he like really freaked out danger won't stop me from liking japan any less is it really that dangerous in japan i don't know though i probably should mention people do tend to get a bit punchy around here what do you mean by punchy that means people get into fights people here people fight here all the time that's not good. My advice, if you're about to get dragged into something shady, just book it. Thank you for the meal. All right, I'll do that. All right, I think we've like scared him for life. He is like traumatized. He's never gonna step out of his shop ever again. <laughs> All right, so we can talk to him one more time, buy one more meal. Um, I can have a nice cold beer. Let's do this. And um, I think this might actually raise, raise his relationship to the max. So we might be maxed out after this one. And there we go. Stop. There is a nice cold beer. Oh yeah. I don't actually like Back beer. To it's it. too bitter. It's not my kind of thing. Oh, we didn't we didn't get anything for that. Maybe I actually have to have a meal or maybe it just wasn't quite a 
enough. Should I do two meals at once? We're going to do two meals at once. We're going to do the beef plate and the beef bowl extra large. We're still not quite um, full health. Nearly though. You've acquired a Kamaru Go coupon since you used 700 or more. The discount coupon will be applied on your next visit. Nice. We got discounts. I think Keyboy mentioned that you can get discounts actually. So that's cool. We're slightly drunk. Oh, There's a little... Um, you know bottle symbol on the side so i'm a little bit drunk but that's okay <laughs> that's Back fine um, no i don't feel lonely at the other place yeah there's not really uh not really very many people over on twitch <laughs> you should review all the abilities you've learned oh yes i should you're right i um i haven't looked at it in such a long time so yeah you're right i've unlocked a new skill okay so at the moment i have most of the battle ones it seems but i haven't unlocked these ones um so these ones are like when you kick off the walls i've done that a few times that's the sprint towards the enemy that's um circle to like fly over the top of enemies and then we have leapfrog so lots of like um little attacks here Okay, awesome, and over here, oh yeah, I like the special things because it helps you to like find stuff. Um, let me see, this one, thin was break even less during a thumb turn, thumb turn bypass. Is that for lock picking? I'm not sure. No, that one's for lock picking. I'm not even sure what that's for. Thin wires. Have I even done that before? I don't know. And then there's like a, um, so this is a record player, but I don't even have a record, so that one wouldn't be worth it just yet. Always know which keys to use on doors you've already opened. I'm going to learn that just because I feel like it could be useful. And also I'm going to do the lock picking one because it will help me to get like, you know, open doors easier. And the rest is just like, oh, these, oh, these are like passive stuff. So like more health and more attack and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I really don't have enough. There wasn't i didn't have that many that much sp actually so there's that i suppose all right so i can buy i think maybe yeah, one more here. thing from the beef bowl shop your health is full so yeah one more thing this will be the last thing we buy i don't know if it will be enough to raise his relationship he's so close he's really close Good stuff. all right Back i hope so it. no i guess we gotta buy out like the whole shop maybe to get the last little bit that's a shame but i'm sure i'm sure we'll get it so let's pick another quest what should we do next decisions decisions i like doing the side quests first and then doing the story that's always how i play my games i don't know why i just like to do the side quests as soon as i get them and then do the story last because I don't know I guess I feel like if I go too far in the story that I'll miss out and like some games do that but it's probably not the case um I don't know which one to do I think I'll do the bomb one because I feel like that one sounds more interesting because the other one is just to find a jacket for some guy so I feel like um I don't know there's like some random bombs or something so I feel like this one would be a more interesting side quest so I want to do this one you also get like loads of little like rewards and that kind of stuff for doing these quests so yeah I think they're worth doing for sure and you get some really bizarre silly ones and you never know which ones are going to be silly because the ones that sound normal could actually be really silly and bizarre and interesting so I want to do them all anyway all right so there's a bomb here so somewhere um right there all right let's disarm that one really is a bomb mommy oh gosh what's happening how did this kid end up here alone this is a really weird situation we've got a bomb in one hand a small child crying his eyes out <laughs> i don't know what's happening right here i don't know i think beer makes your heat rise faster oh that's good that's good Sorry about that, my phone decides to restart itself every so often. Oh wow, you, you should probably get a new one. Did I miss multi responding to my previous comment? Um, I don't know. What did you say? I have no idea. Oh, did you say about oh the about the secret missions? I did, yeah. I said that um is I said that it's really cool when they put like Easter eggs in games and stuff. I did, yeah. There's a funny EX action that triggers when Yagami gets drunk. Oh, I should get him wasted. I didn't quite make it. He's not quite um 
fully drunk yet. Yeah, beer is really useful in combat because it makes your heat rise faster. Awesome! I definitely should um, should make him like absolutely drunk. He has like the drunken fist. <laughs> okay, how did this kid uh, kid end up here? This is bad. This kid could get. What do I do? What do I do? It's like hot potato or something. Chuck it somewhere. No time to think. Only 15 seconds left. Eat it. <laughs> I don't know. What should I do? No time left. Just gotta do it. Oh my god. I hope you're pulling the right one, dude. It's where it goes boom. The whole game just like cuts out black screen. <laughs> Whew, that was lucky. <laughs> if you pulled the wrong one, that could have been it. Mm, did we survive? I think so. Wow, that could have been a very different situation for sure. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank God. I thought we were both goners. A phone call? Who could be calling me from a blocked number? Oh, God. Is it Hello? the bomber? There are bombs in Camarocho. Oh, God. Excuse me? I said I've placed bombs in Camarocho. Three in total. The first one exploded, as you saw. The second one you have just, uh, just disarmed. I think you can buy beer at convenience stores. Ah, okay. I should totally check that out. All right, so where is the last one? Hold on, who are you? How did you get my number? Is there really, a, is this really a time to be asking questions? You have five minutes before it explodes. Is this a timed mission? Oh God, if you don't want anyone else to get hurt, I suggest you start looking. Wait, wait, fine, I'll look for it. But where? You've got to tell me where. I suppose it wouldn't be very fair otherwise. I'll give you a hint, okay. You can find it in the Angel of the Warrior's Maze what um i don't really know what you mean what kind of hint is that give it some thought why don't you just remember the clock's ticking five minutes um okay you can only trigger that drunk heat action with beer you buy at convenience stores i think it only works when there are three enemies oh okay i'll keep that in mind so have you completed this game already dalek um, all right, we'll have to find this place. Things are going to get messy if you fail. Okay, Angel of the Warrior's Maze. What the hell? I don't know. It's not going to tell me where to go, is it? What? I don't even know. Five minutes to find this. I don't even know what you mean, man. Shall I look at the map? I don't even know where to even begin. I have no clue. Like, I haven't even been in this town for that long, so I don't know how I would know. Should we go in Kamarucho Hills? I don't know. I, like, I, don't, I just feel like I haven't really explored up there. And there wouldn't be a maze in, like, the town, right? Like, in the middle of the town. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know. Does anyone know where this angel place is? Where this bomb is? Because I have no idea and I'm probably not going to make it this way. <laughs> so I have no clue um let me see i'm gonna go up this way um i know i need a new phone but with oh god i'm not watching what i'm doing <laughs> but with xmas coming up n my new phone's the lowest priority at the moment and wife and son and loved ones come first that's really sweet that's really awesome that you like prioritize them but you should get some stuff for yourself too i mean maybe you could ask for one for christmas or something i don't know but yeah there's also like ps5 coming out if you're getting one of those i don't know um let me see let's see if we can find an angel an angel somewhere just gonna keep my eyes peeled but i really don't know if i'm going the right way honestly Check the top right of the map. Oh, I have a hint. Okay, awesome. Um, I'll try. I'll try up here. I think that that might be a good place to to start. Let's see. There's a big construction place here. Hmm. Will it vibrate when I'm like close to it? Because I think the other ones so far have like vibrated when I've been near it. I'm sure like if the time runs out, I'm sure it'll give me like a second chance anyway. So I'm sure it will be okay. But I've not really, I have no idea where, where I'm going. <laughs> I'll just try and just run around and see if I find it. I've only got three minutes. Ah. <laughs> champion district that's where the bomb is i don't know if i'm i'm there i have no clue 
I don't even know where the champion district is. Actually, there's the hotel district. That's the theatre place. Wait, would it be over here? Over by the theatre? I don't know. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just trying to work it out. Pink Alloy Boulevard. Oh, here. Down here. Champion district. I see it. I see it. I don't even think I've been down here. Actually, I do remember this area vaguely from Yakuza 0, but... It's actually been a little while since I played Yakuza 0, <laughs> so I'm like a tiny bit familiar with the map, but not um, that much. Warrior's Maze, where could that be? Um, champion District, right? Warrior, Fighter, Hero, Champion! I've got it! Somewhere... okay. Um, then the next part of the clue is Angel. Oh, God damn, I'm on a time limit here. I don't know. Uh, Shellac? I don't know. Did he mean... No? I don't even know. Earth Angel? There's an angel in the Champions District. All right, awesome. Thank you um, for telling me the general direction because I had no idea where I was going. So thank you. I would never have worked that out. <laughs> Thank God you guys are here helping me. <laughs> okay, it even has a marker when you get close to it. I think. I think that's the marker. So that's awesome. All right, I'll grab that as well. Awesome. All right, have we made it? There's some other stuff up here too. Have we, Is this it? Have we made it? Small cluster of buildings. Thank you. Angel of the Warrior's Maze. He had to have meant Earth Angel here. Okay, awesome. Now where's the bomb? Found it. Same type of bomb as the other, so I should be able to just cut the wire. Okay, I hope you're you're right. I don't know if he always looks away. He's like, oh god, what if I'm wrong? Did that work? The countdown stopped. Thank god. Ah, oh, awesome. You've done well. Those quests are so tense. <laughs> I loathe the time missions. They're such a pain. Yeah, I always like completely freak out when there's like time missions. Thank you guys for all the help. That was too far north. <laughs> Yeah, I went way too far. I didn't know exactly where you meant, but yeah, we got there, so that's awesome. It's, these bomb missions are tough if you haven't played in a while. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. Is there a point to this? What's your game? Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You've been chosen, you see. Oh, I have. Okay, chosen for what? Chosen to stop me. You either succeed or Camarucho will go up in flames. Is this just like a game or something? This isn't over, I'm afraid. Now, you just be a good boy and wait. Wow, he's so evil. Who the hell is this guy? He said this isn't over though. What should I do? I guess we just need to wait for the next lot of bombs. Maybe he'll give us a reward for finding all the bombs or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, some stupid dude's waiting for me just like right around the corner. <laughs> stupid dude, take this horrible pine... This cone... Well, I was going to say pine cone. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> take this cone to the face. <laughs> All right, awesome. I'm gonna like, I think there was like a, a button where we could, oh yeah, I'm gonna do my EX action. Let's do this. Oh, like, wow, that was awesome. He like, like twisted him around and I love how many different like little actions there are to do. I've seen so many different ones already and it really makes the combat just like feel really fresh. I like it. Probably after like, you know, 30, 40 hours or something, it might start to get like tedious or something. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying just seeing like all the different things I can do with the combat. I think it's pretty awesome. All right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do the next quest that we have, which is the missing jacket over there. So we're going to go and hunt down a jacket. I know it doesn't sound like the most riveting quest. It's sound really boring right but you never know it could like surprise us it could be something really interesting so where exactly is that somewhere over here but I don't see exactly where it is oh there it is it's so hard to see the quest like it's hiding behind the other one it's hiding behind the icons so I am like really struggling to actually like see where the side quests are but yeah um I got there in the end you just have to zoom in really far so that's cool all right so let's go find this jacket maybe it's like I don't know maybe it's a really interesting quest just in disguise <laughs> it'd be funny if you pulled the cone over his head then you could call him a cone head have you ever played plants versus zombies 
<laughs> it really reminds me of that. There's also, um, after you beat the game, like the very first Plants vs. Zombie, I think it was, after you beat the game, there's this, like, this awesome song that plays at the end credits, and it's so funny. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I absolutely loved the the first um, Plants vs. Zombies. I was really sad that they like changed it because like they're all like garden warfare and that kind of stuff now and they're not anywhere near as the tower defense games. Like they're nowhere near as fun. I really loved the tower defense ones that they made and I'm really sad that they don't make those anymore. I think they made one on the tablet as well and I played that one too and um, I don't even have a tablet. <laughs> I uh, I borrowed I borrowed one. <laughs> That's how much I wanted to play it. <laughs> so I just love those games. All right, we gotta find this jacket for this guy. How did you lose your jacket, dude? Um, let's talk business. Let's find out some details. No, I haven't. Well, in that game, um, the zombies wear cones on their heads. So that's what reminded me of it when you said cone head. <laughs> It reminded me of the zombies walking around with the giant cones on their heads. Although I think they also have them in Garden Warfare as well. The combat can get a little boring. I forgot that I could switch styles because I just kept using Tiger. That's why I'm excited for Yakuza 7's combat. It's really cool to see that there are some people who are actually excited for the combat for Yakuza 7. I've seen so much hate for it, so it really makes me happy that there are some people out there who are looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a little slower than like the usual Yakuza games, but I'm totally for it. Like I am actually looking forward to it. It also looks so silly how you can have like just like the jobs you can have is like you can be a bartender and then you can just like attack with like like bottles like you can attack with like the champagne <laughs> it just looks really really random i can't wait it's gonna be so wacky i think <laughs> the jobs are gonna be really fun to mess about with i think they said that there was like over like 20 classes or something so there's gonna be a lot of choice with the combat i think all right so we're looking for a stolen jacket my bag got swiped all right where did you last see it in the park i went to the bathroom and left it there and when i realized what i'd done i ran back and it was gone that's unfortunate you can't take your eyes off anything was there something else in the bag my wallet and my watch but then but the jacket is what matters whoa he really likes that jacket that thing means more to me than life itself wow why do you like care so much about a jacket is it sentimental was it gold studded or something no okay it's sentimental my older brother gave it to me and i really respect him okay i get that have you gone to the police i did but they said they'd have an ice cubes chance in hell of finding it all right i see their points what which park did you lose your bag in and can you describe describe it the children's park the bag is yellow with leather straps okay great can you describe your jacket wallet and watch my jacket's blue and white there's a tiger embroidered on the back that actually sounds really cool it says tiger on it my wallet's made out of blue fabric and my watch is bright yellow all right i better write this all down all right so we don't forget awesome i can't promise anything but i'll do my best to track them down and you can cover fifty thousand yen as my fee he gets paid pretty well i think not gonna lie that's expensive but my jacket is worth it all right let's go find it awesome let's do this i'd wish they'd remake a sequel to see they'd make a sequel to, to see sleeping dogs yes that would be so awesome i can't talk right now <laughs> I'm going all over the place. I thought that game was pretty fun and I'd prefer that over GCA any day. Amen to that. I loved Sleeping Dogs. I really enjoyed that. I loved the brutality of it as well. At least the, the cutscenes were quite brutal sometimes. But yeah, I really loved that game too. It was a lot of fun. I remember going around doing everything. You know, I would also really love a sequel to LA Noir. I absolutely adored that game. That game was so fun. So yeah, I'd love a sequel to that too. All right, guess I'll start at the park. So we're gonna go to the park and do this mission. Um, might just be one of these like kind of fetch quests. I'm just going into, bumping into doors and <laughs> going everywhere here. <laughs> Not getting very far it seems. Okay, so where did he say the quest was? Was it up here? Children's Park. That's it, that's it, up here. I wonder if it's like being guarded by some thugs or something. It probably is, isn't it? Some guys have probably taken a liking to his spectacular jacket and his 
his um you know his wallet and everything i'm sure there's gonna be some combat i i'm assuming anyway there's a fair up here actually i never really looked at the town square it actually looks really awesome i love the little canopy and stuff it actually looks really cool um yeah let's go <laughs> let's go to the park i think we're close yeah the jobs are an interesting concept i think it would be cool yeah me too i can't wait i think it's gonna be ridiculous and funny because that's how Yakuza games are. Um, do I talk to you or do I talk to you? I don't know. So many decisions. I'll talk to this, these guys first. Excuse me, I'm looking for a bag. Did you see anything? Well, did you see anything, dudes? Oh, you think we go around stealing bags because we're homeless? I never said that. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I just thought you might have seen it since you're here a lot. It's a yellow bag with leather straps that got left in the bathroom. Yeah, I've seen it. Did you steal it? Do you know what happened to it? I might, if you bring me to Bento. Oh my god. Some people. Oh my god, Morsi, you're pulling on my heartstrings. I would love a sequel to Eleanor. Absolutely love that game. I know, right? That game was amazing. <laughs> I loved that. Will you play Yakuza 7 down the line? That's the new one, right? Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon? I'll play Like a Dragon for sure. I always get confused with the titles. It's like so, so confusing. There's so many of them. <laughs> but that's the one where there's like a brand new protagonist, right? There's a brand new protagonist in it. So I'm completely open to playing that one. And I'm actually really excited for it. There's one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to Judgment. Because, I don't know, it just I was just, I'm just in a Yakuza mood. I just want to, I do want to play some Yakuza games. So yeah, I'm actually really thinking of getting Like a Dragon when it comes out. But still a few months away before that comes out to be honest only two i will get the coke and a beer too <laughs> only two bentos huh? you think he should have asked for more i need to bargain for this i'm so hungry my memory's all foggy i remember them doing this in yakuza zero as well they always do this they take liberties <laughs> let's make it two we're both hungry and i'm sure a full belly might jog my memory i guess it's not too unreasonable oh, all right what would happen if i had have asked this guy do you think this guy would have asked me like given it to me for free i don't know so i gotta go to a convenience store right um let me see i think this is one here so i'll go to this one and buy them some bento boxes i'll get them some nice lunch boxes and see if they like it i wish i could buy bento boxes like just like go to my convenience store and buy them that'd be so cool they just don't sell them you know i probably have to like order one online to get like a proper bento box that would be so cool if you could do that and uh i guess i could make it myself but too lazy <laughs> Too much effort. <laughs> like a dragon is what the Yakuza games are called in Japan. Oh, okay. I see. So, okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> so confusing. But yeah, I totally do want to play it. I'm really interested in it. I loved Plants vs. Zombies. Then it was brought by EA and they ruined it. Oh, it so sucks. I used to love the old ones. So cool. I really missed the, like, the, you know, the strategy ones. They were so fun. I love tower defense games. All right, so let's buy these bento boxes. Can I order these to take out? Did I go to the right place? No. Oh, bento lunch set. These two? I think, yes. I think this is what I need to buy. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, awesome. Oh, he went up. I think I went up with him. You currently have two points. Yay, I got two points and we get when we get 10, we will get um, a thing, we'll get a record. So that would be really cool when I get one of those because we can then like listen to some music. Although I don't know if YouTube will let me like with their copyright stuff, I have no idea. So uh, let me see my cases here. I don't know what I'm doing. So I think I just have to go back to the park, which I think is here. For some reason, there's not a marker, but I think this is right. I think I'm going to the right place anyway. They changed it for the West because when Yakuza 1 came over for PS2, they were afraid no one would buy it because of GTA. So they changed it to Yakuza. Oh, interesting. I suppose GTA is... Um, is definitely their competition but i really prefer these games over gta because gta is just like 
just serious all the time. And I just love the lightheartedness this game has. And um, I don't know, the drama for this game is amazing too. Like I loved it in Yakuza 0. It was so good. I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time. I just wanted to know what was going to happen next and next and next and next. And it was just so good. I really enjoyed Yakuza 0. I really need to get around to playing Kiwami as well. I might if you bring me two bento. All right, I got you some. Wait, oh, did I get the wrong bento? Oh, god damn. Um, a tonkatsu bento from Popu around the, the corner popo or something did i go to the wrong place am i gone to the wrong place was that not popo that was popo did you want a, a very specific bento oh you're so annoying dudes a tonkatsu bento okay oh, so annoying i thought i got the right one i didn't even see another bento in there but maybe i just misread it i don't know <laughs> okay i'll go back and um see if i can get this thing we got plenty of money anyway so that's awesome all right dude let me just talk to you okay a tonkatsu oh it was this one. Oh, okay god damn it was the one next to it <laughs> i didn't see it all right i think i had to get to well we're going up with the shopkeeper so that's cool now we have three points in total so we're slowly getting there so that's awesome that's just going to be something that happens over time i think so yeah i don't have to worry too much about that one but let's go back and turn this in hopefully he'll take my bento box now you're so picky dude just hey. you should just be happy with anything all right there we go so about that bag there's been a bunch of kids coming around here at night hooting and hollering they're a real headache oh god i like i've seen people do that like do you know when people like shout out of cars and they just go i love you like out of the car like oh, that's happened so many times like when i've been walking down the street and stuff so annoying <laughs> and then you look and it's like i don't know i find it embarrassing <laughs> i don't even know them <laughs> It's a very funny dub. I'd recommend watching some of it. It's a blast. What's a funny dub? I don't know. I think I'm a bit lost. <laughs> Do you mean um, Yakuza? The title of Yakuza Like a Dragon is used to unify the two and keep the Western releases as Like a Dragon and shredding the Yakuza title you guys are really knowledgeable about the title like i have no idea but that's really cool i like the name though but them calling it yakuza has sadly made a lot of people call it a gta clone oh wow really even though they're completely different games yeah i think the yakuza games really stand out they definitely have made themselves very unique like they're so funny and i just i just love how funny these games are but late the other night they got really loud i heard one of them say score and the and another said he'd buy the good stuff, okay? Anyway, they came bolting out of the bathroom holding what looked like that bag you just described. Okay, so these kids stole it. Not really, except for one that stood out like a douchebag, okay? He had short bleached hair. Oh my god, it's Eminem. <laughs> a little pube strand moustache and a stupid tinted shades oh god it looks like he didn't like this guy um they're local kids so i'm sure they're around all right but where would i find some local punks i don't know i wouldn't know where to begin um so i just have to ask around find the thieves all right let's see where i can ask is there a marker or have i just gotta like find this on like by myself Hmm, I have no clue. Sometimes they're not very direct with where you have to go. I think this is just like the general area. So I'm just gonna have to look around this place and see what we can find. Oh, there's a material. I will definitely take that for sure. All right, let me see here. Oh, I just, <laughs> I keep accidentally climbing on top of cars. I'm just gonna like circle around this building and see if I can like find anyone near because I have no clue where I'm supposed to go, honestly. Um, by the way, Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2 are on Game Pass. Yeah, I actually own the first one. Um, but I don't have the second one, so I can actually play the second one on Game Pass, which is amazing. Which is really awesome. Hmm, I don't find, I don't see these people. I remember you mentioned you had it earlier. Yeah, I do have Game Pass. Um, there's so many games on there, seriously. I have so much choice. I am seriously spoiled for choice. Hmm, still don't know where these people are. I'm gonna go down and we're gonna go straight down this time. See if I can find anyone. I didn't see anyone in the town square. So maybe not that way. These quests kind of like, 
are a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> oh, another material. I would definitely take that. Thank you very much. Um, I used to do that with my cousins. It was so fun. That's cool. I was referring to my earlier comment about the dub. Ask for the other guy. The other guy that was sat in the park. I don't think he had a dialogue option. At least I don't think he did. I'll go check, but I'm pretty sure he didn't. But I don't really know where else to go, honestly. I have no idea. From the game world itself, clearly two different games. Yakuza is an open district game, while GTA is an open world game. I haven't played a GTA game in a very, very long time. Can't remember the last one I played. I actually prefer Saints Row over GTA, actually, just because it has more like silly, wacky moments. Although, like the latest um saints row games have gone like a little bit too far with the wacky stuff <laughs> oh i can't go that way <laughs> but yeah i do i like saints row more because um gta is just way too serious i don't know they're not bad games or anything but i just prefer like sillier games <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and go back to the park again because i don't know where it is um that's really annoying because i really want to do this quest too and i don't know where to go but I will figure it out or I got some stupid dudes chasing me. Go away dudes, I'm on a mission. I gotta find this jacket, it's very important, okay? <laughs> very important stuff. All right, um, I'm just gonna put a marker to it. Oh, no, I don't want that, throw it. <laughs> I didn't even mean to pick that up. <laughs> that was an accident. Okay, so down this way. Look at some nearby the store. I'll try that in a second. But yeah, see this guy, he's not targetable. I didn't think he was, but I just wanted to double check. Um, hmm. Look around here. Oh, there's a material. I'm finding lots of bits of materials. So that's awesome. There's loads of stuff here. So that's really cool. Obviously that way is a dead end. Oh, another material. There's loads of stuff around here. It's like a gold mine. <laughs> it's like a material gold mine, which is awesome. All right, nothing here. All right, I'm going to try it down this street because I don't know if I look down this way or not. I have no idea. I think I went to the like actual central town center a few times. Hmm... What's this? A smoking area. I can go, I can smoke. I need to smoke. Wait, I'm out of six. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. Is that just, is that something? That's not something to do with the quest, is it? I have no clue. I have no idea if that's like part of the quest or if that's just a random little smoking area. I have no clue. I've never noticed that before, actually. I didn't even know you could do that. Morty, think as teenagers, they at someone's house smoking grass. I didn't do that as a teenager. <laughs> Did you do that as a teenager? <laughs> Maybe I was just too much of a goody two shoes. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm going to buy some cigarettes. I'm just kind of curious about what would happen. All right, here we go. This is really bad for you, Yagami, but you know, it's okay. You can, you can smoke for today. I give you permission. <laughs> All right, we've got four points. All righty, let's go and smoke, I guess. I just want to see what happens. I'm really curious. All right, I could use a smoke. All right. Um, knock yourself out, dude. <laughs> I was wondering, since it's been a while since you've played the game, but do you remember Mortal Damage? Um, is that where you get hit and then... um? Your health goes down and you have to use a medikit to get it back up, I think. I've never smoked either. I don't like the smell of tobacco. I tried it once, but I don't even know if I smoked it properly. I don't even know. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know if I want to know how. But yeah, it does. It stinks and it's nasty and I don't like the stuff. Um, do you have any dreams? A dream radiant and burning like the sun? Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. I was able to have that dream because I met you, Yukon. Oh my god, it's so cheesy. <laughs> oh, what dream is that? Go ahead, you can tell me. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> this is a weird conversation to eavesdrop in, but all right, better get going. <laughs> Yagami's like, that was awkward. <laughs> Okay, so that definitely wasn't my quest. That was just a random thing. What did that even do? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what that was about, but sure. Hmm. 
Maybe I should just give up on this quest for now and then just like hope I just find it as I play because I'm sure I'll bump into it eventually as I play through the game but I don't know. Let me just check. I don't think I got any more side quests though and I really wanted to do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to beat up these guys because they're interfering with my plans. Ouch! Muscle wounds are quite annoying in this game, but I somehow got used to it. I don't think I have any. No, I don't think I have any. I do remember it being mentioned, but I don't actually think I've ever had a mortal wound yet. Not sure why. I've lost loads of health, but maybe it's only like specific enemies that do that to you. I don't know. I have no idea. What's this? More details. Um, this is how you change. Oh, it's down on the D-pad. Um, I kind of forgot how you actually changed, so that's um, that's cool. What's in here? I wonder what's in here. I don't know. Doesn't look like I have a key for this door. I need a key? Oh, okay. I probably need to find that at some point. That would be awesome. Yes, that's what it is. Mortal damage is important to remember. Thank you for the reminder. That's really helpful. I actually sort of remembered it as you when you said like it like sort of popped up but yeah it's been a long time for sure with more upgrades you can fill up your heat gauge whenever you smoke oh so it actually has a purpose in the game it's not just there just like for decoration <laughs> i'm just wandering around right now just seeing if i can find it um no i don't want to fight week. you guys right now go away stupid dudes maybe they're in the car park <laughs> I don't know. Maybe kids hang out in car parks. Who knows? Who knows? Nope. Um, the guys, have they followed me all this way? Am I going to have to fight him? I don't know. They look hesitant to come into the car park for some weird reason. I've never done that, Morsi, but if they are punks that mess around, probably it's likely that they do drugs. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm just going to get these guys. Apparently, they decided to man up and come into the car park. I thought they were too scared to come in for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this guy down in a sec. I'm just giving him um, a head start. That's all. That's all that's happening right here. <laughs> Let's change styles. I want to try the other style. I think this is a single target one and I've been using the AOE one this whole time. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna... Oh, I got you. I got you in my grip. Oh, dude. Headbarred me. That was not cool, dude. <laughs> okay, I want to grab something like... Oh, that's how you run. You can run when you're in combat. Okay, I want to get some weapons. I like the weapons. Oh, the police are coming. I need to hurry or I need to run. I'm kind of curious. What would happen? I have never actually seen the police come. It's the first time I've actually seen that um, pop up on my screen. Where are they? Are they coming? They're taking forever. That's some slow police. <laughs> Can I take this motorbike? Wouldn't it be awesome if you picked up? Oh, here they, here they come. Um, I don't know if this happened before. Run! <laughs> the police are here. <laughs> it's so funny they just randomly pop up. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> Okay then, well, at least I know what happens when the police come now. More damage only occurs when a boss charges up an attack. Oh, I think I've only fought one boss so far, and that was Morase, I think, one of the Yakuza dudes. So yeah, I haven't um, done many boss fights so far. There goes your unlimited stamina. Do I have stamina? I didn't have stamina. I thought you were being for real then and you said unlimited. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that would be well annoying if we actually had a stamina bar. That would suck. That would be so annoying. Drugs are like super illegal in Japan. Like so illegal that even if you're proven innocent of having drugs your reputation will still be ruined oh damn did you hear about that that thing with the voice actor in this game it was like ages ago now but there was um there was somebody pulled from this game because they were caught with drugs so yeah it's uh, a super big thing for sure i'm gonna go eat at this store in a second i think i just saw a material yes i did awesome we got a material let's go in oh god sir are you okay are you meant to be there are you a statue for the shop? I don't know. Hello, do you want a hug? I'm just so confused. 
I think that's meant to be there. That's a really disturbing statue you've got out there, dude. <laughs> I didn't know about that. All right, so I can eat two pieces here, two like sushi dishes. Very nice, awesome, nice establishment. Have you ever played played Days Gone? I have not, but I have heard that it's a pretty cool game, though. I think the only game that I've played that's like in that kind of vein is um. Oh, what was it called? It was a zombie game and it was on Game Pass. I can't remember what it's called now. I really enjoyed that game too. It was a zombie game and you like had to like um survive and collect like different like resources and stuff and you had to like um there was like these big massive zombie areas and you had to take out the horrible zombies. <laughs> I'm probably not explaining it very well. I can't remember what it's called. I really liked it. it. You had to like get gas for your car and stuff and um, supplies and stuff like that. Um, so there was no quest there. I thought there was going to be a quest there, but that sucks. Um, he was Hammerer before he got caught. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. I couldn't remember what they were called. Get caught up by a female police officer i don't know if they have them like i don't know if they because like i don't know it might just be the same little cutscene that they play every time so they probably don't have them like for the um for the fights anyway there's probably some in the game but probably not for that part that actually happened to another voice actor in yakuza 4 oh wow and another yakuza game as well um thank you eliza <laughs> I think you'd like the story of Days Gone. It's really well done and Days Gone was, is un unfortunately underrated. That's such a shame. Okay, I'm going to stop the stream here for now, but I really had a lot of fun. I'm going to try and find that um, quest for the next time that we stream. So I'll probably start with that because um, I just can't find it. <laughs> I've been like kind of exploring a little bit to try and find it, but um, I'll find it for the next stream anyway. But thank you everybody for stopping by. I had a lot of fun and I can't wait to continue with more judgment. I'll probably stream again tomorrow. I want to start like streaming more regularly so you'll probably see a lot more of my streams around. But thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you have a lovely day or night. Bye bye!